All right, red shirt, listen up. Clap, clap, pay attention. We're going to go over to that camp over there, that one. It's going to be a real mess, but we're going to see what we find. And you and I are both going to come out of this, maybe a little scraped and banged up. We're going to do just fine, all right? I don't want any of that napping. All right, let's do this. <laughs> this is a good start. Off to a great start. I'm not even in the right place. We're supposed to be up there. Okay, we got the jailer. And red shirt went down. Good job, red shirt. Greetings, adventures. It is I, Liz Grumblaze. And we're back with part two of our beginner friendly let's play of Conan Exiles on the Exiled Lands. We're in the Age of Heroes. Oh, yes. There's just been a quite significant patch 3.7 gigabytes. Uh, but there were no patch notes. I didn't find any announcements yet, although I didn't look all that hard. So we're going to see. Hopefully nothing's going to break from what we were doing already. I don't know if they're going to try and re-enable the, the living settlements and all that kind of stuff. I, I literally have no patch notes whatsoever, so we'll see. Um, but it didn't appear to be workshop content, so... Right. Where last we left off, uh, we got old Red Shirt here guarding the door. Good job, Red Shirt. Uh, we have uh, armored him up. I made some medium armor. I've completed my set and the set for Red Shirt. So he's only a level one fighter uh, or even an exile, I'm not sure. So we're going to see. Oh, he was an archer, level one archer. We're going to see how we get on with that. Inside the house, I have uh, tidied up a little bit. We've got lovely Zara here dancing for us and uh, Kelly looking after the food. In the kitchen, we have our basic alchemy set up. Uh, but a number of the other benches and whatnots have gone missing. Where are they? Ah, well, you remember I did I did uh, have the idea of setting up a little working area for them. So I didn't spend too much time building anything fancy, but I just made them a simple little area. Uh, we've got the thrall wheel pushed back a little bit out of the way. We've got a nice bench for them to hang out on over here. We've got a Zamorian smelter too. We've got Sammy. Uh, we've got another smelter here, Billy. Uh, and in here... Yeah, they've got a little working area, and I can confirm that the thralls are working their way in and out of here. Oh, here we go. Right now, Sammy. Cool. Thank you, Sammy. Showing off for the camera, eh? Showing off for the camera. Uh, yeah, so we've got our basic uh, blacksmithing, we've got our armorer bench, the carpenter's bench. We've got our basic boxes, our artisan table moved in here, and our tanner's table. We've got our tanning station uh, over here on the outside, our tannery, uh, and of course our smelter. Only working with the one here, of course, still. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Doggo is, uh, Chuckles, rather. Chuckles, the half cat, half dog thing, uh, is, uh, out here on guard as well. And we have a grinder that we put down last time, within which we can put some fiber to make spices, like so. Uh, and also we can grind up bones for bone meal, like so. Uh, you can see them appearing in the queue down here. Uh, and we can also grind rocks into salt for salting our food and everything. Now, we haven't unlocked a better cooking station yet than the basic, uh, or sorry, the, the improved cook campfire. Um, so we'll see <coughs> whether or not we can get to the cooking today or not. We'll see. Um, let's have a look. In the meantime, we leveled up. <coughs> and actually, while I was just gathering some resources prior to recording, uh, we leveled up again. So we have one set of attributes still to spend. We just hit level 20. So that's pretty exciting. We're uh, we're out of our teens, um, and that's actually quite a big uh, milestone. Um, but at level 19, one of the things we unlocked under survival menu was the dried preserves, uh, the dryer, um, and uh, we're going to build one of those. That takes some uh, shaped wood uh, bits and bobs. In fact, I'll go. Uh, wait a minute. Where is it? Uh, let's have a look here. It is 20 pieces of shaped wood and 10 pieces of twine, which I just conveniently have in my pocket. We're just going to put this dryer over here on the outside until I think of somewhere better. Oh, uh, there, this will do here next to the tannery. Boom. All right, just the one of those. And this little ditty here runs also on uh, bark, I believe. Uh, and it does a couple of uh, very cool things for us. I'm sure it does even more than my knowledge. Again, I'm not an expert in this game. I'm just showing it more from a uh, kind of slightly experienced but still relatively newcomer perspective. Uh, let's get some bark off of here. 
and a little bit of wood. And we'll show you one of the things this can do. One of the ones that I get particularly excited about. I've mentioned it before. I really like the next tier of building. There is insulated wood. A uh, look and uh, a little bit tougher than that for purges. Uh, we'll get into that much later. Uh, and oopsie, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to put the bark in the wood. And if you put some bark in here as a fuel and you put some wood in here, press play. Look at this. Hey, presto, we're going to get dried wood. That's going to also produce resin as a byproduct. And resin is something else we're going to use uh, as we move forward to make some uh, better bricks, for example, for tier three buildings eventually. Um, but also as a component in, no doubt, other recipes and things as we proceed. Um, so you get this dried wood. Uh, you take the dried wood and the resin. You bring that on over here to the carpentry desk, carpenter's bench. Throw that in there. And you have nothing to make because I am missing a recipe for insulated wood. Or I've forgotten how to make it. I was going to show you the insulated... Ah, you know what it is? Hang on. If we go in here to our knowledge, <laughs> at level 20, we unlock the insulated wood building pieces uh, and the insulated wood recipe. So, sorry, I was skipping ahead there in my mind without meaning to. Whoopsie. Okay, so we have 16 points to spend. Let's do our level up. Journeyman Mason, which in uh, you can see here in the construction... Uh, menu as well uh, we haven't yet got the ability at, until level 23 to unlock the stair maker and the roofers at level 25 and so on and so forth so similar progression going on although we do have some uh elevators are a fun thing that we might play with at some point in the future uh yeah so now we should have to go back to the insulated wood the insulated wood recipe aha and we can make six pieces of insulated wood from our six dried wood and a bunch of resin so it's it's a one wood and two resin we'll craft those up and uh, this will allow us at some point soon tm to um make a uh, an upgrade to our little housey house here let's see we grab some of these we don't have a carpenter yet to support our bench making things faster but that's okay uh, let's see. I don't know how many pieces we need. Um, but then we get our construction hammer out, number seven. We hit tab, go to building pieces. We now have unlocked insulated wood. Okay, now insulated wood needs has two components. The insulated wood itself uh, and something called iron reinforcements. We've seen these before, but we've not really actively looked at them yet. Uh, on the blacksmithing bench, we can convert iron bars... Uh, at a cost of two to one, uh, two input, one output, uh, iron bars, we can make uh, these um, <clears throat> iron reinforcements. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make ten of those for now, just for the sake of it, to have something to show. Uh, we should also have dried some more wood and got some more resin in the meantime. So again, everything's just a question of time and, you know, juggling the resources around. Um, but I'm super excited for this because, I, as I said, it's one of my favorite uh, looks in the game from the building point of view. It's not the strongest because it's only tier 2, but I think it looks uh, really cool. Let's make a bunch more of that. There we go. <clears throat> and, oh, we already have 7. There we go. Nearly got all of those created. So now we take our construction hammer out and we look under building pieces and insulated wood. Ha ha! Huzzah! We can make cool things. Uh, what's going to make the most impact, I wonder? Uh, maybe changing the roof, but eh, the roof actually with the thatch looks okay down here. Um, let's upgrade our ooh, door frames. We have the uh, quite nice looking, actually. We have these ones, uh, the arcane ones, but again, the tier one. So we are going to upgrade the whole house. Uh, what else have we got? What about these windows? If, let's, I'll show, I just want to show you a piece so you can get the gist of it. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? That's going to look fantastic when we upgrade this little, little thing here. So that's going to be a whole lot of processing. But that's a little side quest um, that we'll leave uh, lingering in the background for a bit. Um, but yes, one of the other things you can do with uh, drying... Let's just put all these away here like this for now. Some more of that. Uh, is you can dry uh, berries. 
Uh, so let's have a look in our cooking pot. <clears throat> We've got desert berries. That's perfect. Uh, we don't have any raw food right now. We have cooked it all up. So there's that. I don't think we can dry the seeds. Pretty sure that does nothing. But again, some of the recipes are a little bit hidden away. So you never know. You could do some uh, experimentation. Let's put these berries in here. And now look, we're going to make 44 dried berries. So they will last longer. Uh, and they can also be used in other recipes down the uh, chain. Uh, certainly for food. We have here, for example, salted berries. Savory, a small snack, both savory and sweet. Uh, we got those from knocking someone over. Uh, don't don't remember who. Um, but yeah, once that wood has finished drying, you, we will see that we get the salted berries. In fact, let's just uh, nab that for a moment. And we'll make ourselves a berry just to compare. So these desert berries expire in 40 minutes by standard. And the dried berries gives you two hours. So isn't that groovy? So that gives us... That's a really good uh, source of some longer lasting food if we're going to go out adventuring. Wonderful. All right. Uh, that's two examples of things that can be dried there. You can uh, dry fish. There's a bunch of other things. Uh, some of which, as I said, I might not even know yet. So let us proceed. Right. We'll chuck a bunch more of those in. We're going to need loads and loads of that, so that's fine. Um, okay. Next things, then. I have upgraded the armor, as I said, on Red Shirt. Um, so he's got 175, uh, 79 armor rating now. This is medium. Uh, in order to make heavy uh, armor, we're going to need uh, heavy, uh, thick leather. Um, so we've got a little bit of that from our winnings from fighting things, but we're going to need to uh, take out some bigger and more dangerous creatures to get thick, uh, thick leather, thick hides uh, to convert. Um, but on, uh, so that's something that we're not going to achieve immediately. But at least we've got decent armor ourselves, 249 and 179 for red shirt. And we uh, we should be good suited for some adventuring. Uh, now, what I've also done on the map in preparation for this video is uh, I've marked out a couple of locations uh, where we can find some crystal. Because um, that's an ingredient we're going to want some of, not necessarily right away. Uh, brimstone because that's that's needed for two uh, purposes. Well, really for one purpose. That's going to progress us short term into steel production. However, um, I believe we need about another 10 levels, uh, level 30 or so, before we can start getting into steel production and un unlocking that particular knowledge. So I've just marked it off for now, brimstone and coal around there. There's a few other areas around the map, but I don't want to spoil everything. Um, so I've just marked off some of the things that, I, that are in the newbie kind of area so it's not going to be too much of a spoiler alert for you um i've also marked down where there's a couple of obelisks that we can go and find if we want to talk about those a little bit and they can be used for teleportation somewhere down the line uh, i've marked off we found that cave where we've got the spooders and that they're over here uh, and we've also got the shellback hollow where the sorcery is so spoiler alert uh ordinarily what you could do if you were purely playing uh, and just, you know, enjoying and stepping your way through. There's two two methods, really. One is you would find a sorcerer and get, uh, once you kill them, you can often recover a sorcerer's uh, a map uh, on their body. And maybe we'll run into that in this playthrough. Maybe we won't. Um, and that would basically give you a picture in like a mysterious like, oh, where's the, where's the treasure kind of thing. And, you know, once you spend enough time looking at the map, it doesn't take that long to work out that it's here um, in, uh, in E5. Um, but because I already know that knowledge, and most people probably do or would look it up anyway, um, that's where that particular, it's at the back of the shellback hollow. And there's some nasty corruption in there and some corrupted shellbacks that are pretty hard to fight. So we could take Red Shirt with us and see if we can beat them up. Um, but the other way of finding it is if you went into that cave anyway, typically you would go further and further into a cave if you were exploring and looking for treasures and things. And eventually you would find that anyway. So I don't see that as... Too big of a spoiler. Um, the other thing is with Age of Heroes, um, there is the advent of uh, the arrival of uh, cages where some of these tribes have, have taken people as captives and held them in caves. 
Um, and, uh, cages, sorry, not in caves. I mean, you know, they could be holding them in caves, but in this case, they're not. Uh, and in these cages, you can find um, randomly any number of uh, different types of thralls. Uh, amongst them, you might find, if we're lucky, uh, a barkeep, uh, an innkeeper. And uh, we've unlocked, we haven't unlocked the knowledge yet, but we've got to the level, with level 20, the ability to unlock uh, tavern building. Uh, and this is a very special item in the game that if you have an active barkeep that you found in the world and you place them working um, either as a release captor or converted thrall, I think you have to get them as a release captor or possibly um, procure them from a merchant in the game, but I'm not sure about that. Let me know in the comments. Um, uh, this tavern building, which we'll go ahead and unlock that right now. Uh, we're also going to unlock the treasure coffer. We'll talk about that in a second too. Um, that uh, building, if we can actually construct it, hopefully we can, um, allows you to put a barkeep in it. And if you have an active barkeep in it, then um, thralls and NPCs, characters you can interact with, um, will randomly arrive at your settlement and come chill out at the bar um, from time to time. And some of them, not all of them, will be hireable. So you can actually say, oh, you, you look like a really cool uh, fighter. Um, have I got enough gold or whatever is needed um, to take you on board? And that way you don't have to do the whole knocking them over the head and teaching them a lesson on the wheel kind of thing. Um, it's just a really nice alternate way of getting hold of some uh, some some groovy uh, folks. Uh, additionally, from the barkeep themselves, you can procure uh, drinks and food, I believe, um, over time with some different coin and whatnot. And... Uh, yeah, sometimes I think there's some other NPCs that might offer some some other services, but I'm not quite sure because I haven't done that much of it. So we're all learning together on that one. Um, one of the things that we might want to oops uh, invest some knowledge in as well um, is the ability to uh, where is it? Fine metal crafting. This allows us to make coin molds, for example. Um, and thereby make silver and gold coins if we come across silver and gold ore. Now, I'm not too clued up on all of that at this point. However, thinking ahead to the barkeep, I think we'll probably get the barkeep first. And then if that looks really enticing and we need coin, um, that might be one way we can go about it. Um, go and find ourselves some ores and uh, or some coin from looting and whatever else, if we happen to be lucky, uh, and get hold of some nice... Uh, additional members for our settlement of course last but not least on the barkeep and the, and the tavern topic you know what else it does it encourages more building because um guess what wouldn't it be super super cool to uh <laughs> wouldn't it be super super cool uh to build a little tavern that they could come and sit at uh where do i find hmm is it a decor it could be a decoration companions no Oh, there's a thrall pot here where they can feed from. I forgot about that. Should probably put one of those down and put some food in it. Ah, here we go. Countertops and bars. So this is the standard one that you get unlocked in the game. 80 wood and f uh, 10 iron reinforcements. Uh, and for the same price, I have this alternate one, which is just a veneer styled. Um, so it just looks like the uh, uh, that kind of tribe, the veneer tribe. Sort of a Viking-esque Germanic esque maybe I don't know um, look to it um, so that's pretty groovy because it's that's just a cosmetic difference from something that I've got from a battle pass or uh, wherever else in the game um, but yeah everybody would have the basic tavern bar so that's something else we can uh, look forward to and work towards I don't have anywhere to put that yet so what we could do is we've cleared some space out in the house is we could have a little tavern corner but what well, that's going to do is busy busy up my my lodgings here which i also haven't decorated yet I haven't had much time it's been a very busy week forgive me um all right but anyway that's i feel like i'm gatling gunning it today so that's an awful lot of information all at once um hopefully not too too much all at once uh right next up oh i remember i think we need to go get some water uh let's also make sure that we've got our uh yeah, right click on that. Refill the water skin. Oh, we got a journey step. Nice. Be about time we looked at our journey steps. Now, uh, before we go to the journey steps, um, there's one other thing. I got a comment from one of my long-term community members, Awesome Source Captain Bontney, 
um, Sir Ma'am uh, asked me a question or made a statement from a lot of the videos he looked at because he's brand new to this game. He won a copy recently and a giveaway around. Um, he wondered about uh, the different weaponry and or, or actually about the uh, attributes, sorry, where to spend your points. Um, and didn't really see many guides that were like explaining that. There's lots of beginner stuff out there, but it does, even what I was doing, you go straight into the content and I didn't think about um, some of this. I think we spoke briefly on some of the attributes, uh, but ones like vitality, getting the uh, fierce vitality, so the passive health regeneration that I like, authority to help make our uh, followers like red shirt and everything a bit stronger as we go along, grit for more stamina and armor score, expertise for uh, better tool management uh, um, and um, uh, more carry weight, stuff like that. Um, but one of the things that I didn't really, hadn't really uh, looked up or gone into yet um, was uh, the choice between strength and agility. Um, and these ones are more oriented towards the combat element uh, side of the game, a little bit of movement and combat. So strength is, uh, as you'd imagine, your great swords, your, your sort of big smash, clubbing type implements, stuff like that. So your heavy hitters. Um, and this is where you're going to want to invest if you're much more oriented towards the um, heavy hitting combat and kind of trying to knock everything out with, with one big swing of your weapon or whatever you... Um, that kind of thing. Or you want to just use weapons like the great swords and things. Um, actually, do we have... I can't remember what we've got in... Um, maybe we can borrow one off uh, here for a minute, this foul cutter. Sorry, Red Shirt. I'll give it back in a moment. Um, so, in terms of determining where you want to put your points, if you're new to the game, you probably want to experiment anyway. But if you want a little bit of guidance or just, you know, the basic hints, um, take a look at each implement that you want to use. For example, here, the foul cutter is listed down here in the description um, as a strength weapon with that raised fist symbol. Um, so again, when you look in the attributes, you see there's the same symbol. So there's a clue, both pictorially and in words. If you wanted to use that weapon, um, which looks like this, single-handed sword. So a lot of your single-handed sword, your mace, that kind of thing, um, the shield. I don't know if it benefits the shield. I, that's just something I'd have to look at as well and see if there's any difference. Um, I think shield is more about stamina and how long you can hold the shield for and block for. Um, but that would be, for example, using that kind of weapon. So we're going short sword and it's sword and board or going great sword. Uh, you'd want to invest your points in strength in order to maximize the impact you can make. Um, so here, for example, the feats um, or perks that go with that are heavy blows. Um, after five points invested, heavy and special attacks deal 10% more damage. So that's, for example, when I hit my control key, which is by default the alt key, left alt, um, I do this big, like, double with this one-two combo. And if I have the foul cutter out, and I do this big stabbing motion like that, um, and investing points to up to five in here would do 10% more damage with that. So this is all about killing stuff as quickly as possible. Um... Uh, and using bigger, like, harder-hitting weapons. Um, agility, uh, in contrast, is what I'm investing in to make the most of my agility weapons. For example, the iron poniards. So my stabby stabbies. Let's take this out here. Put that in here. Um, these agility weapons will benefit from my investment of attributes in the agility scoreline. So, for example, um, on agility... The first perk is backstab, so at five points invested, deal 15% increased damage when attacking from behind. So with these, a lot of the time you're trying to circle around behind an, uh, an enemy or a particular larger uh, foe that you might be fighting. For example, I don't know, a rhino, uh, a bear. Um, you might want to try and move off and, and get around the animal or, you know, when it's doing its attack animation. Uh, you move to the side and board, to the rear specifically, we can do 15% more damage with a backstab if we invest up to five points. Next one's after that, dead shot. Arrows and thrown weapons travel twice as quickly and deal 15% more damage to distant targets. So you become more and more of a sniper, more deadly at range. Or you can have precision strike, 10% additional armor penetration when carrying a medium or lighter load. Hmm. So, yeah, interesting uh, options to look at. 
Uh, Quick-footed is the next one at le uh, level 3 perk. Quick-footed, jogging, sprinting, jumping, swimming, and climbing cost less stamina, stamina and are faster. So that's not... It's not all about your weapons, um, but investing in these directions, you can see what you get from it. Um, uh, the final two perks to choose from extended leap jump while in the air to do a second jump. Interesting. Um, or rolling thrust. After dodging, your next damaging attack has 25% increased penetration. So, again, knives out. If we dodge, and then we go stab, 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 like that. That was just three normal attacks. That would have 25% more penetration. Um, or if we dodge and then do a big control, big hit, like that, 25% more penetration on those. So, pretty cool. Um, that's just to give you beyond what we'd already talked about with some of these others. We haven't looked at all the perks. We're going to kind of look at them as we get nearer to them. Um, but do take the time, I would advise, especially as a new player, or even just returning, or, or if you're looking at a build that you haven't um, gone down before, um, have a look through and read the perks and have a think on uh, what seems to make sense. Experiment with them. I know that there are a few in here where people are like, mm, this one doesn't really work that well or doesn't trigger that often or whatever. So have a think about the circumstances. As a new player, it might be difficult to pick, but worst case, you can always drink some potions and reset them later on in the game. So um, there is a limit to how many you can get when you get up to, I think, level 60, the max level. Um, however, there are also uh, a means to increase your points beyond that. Uh, I'm not going to say too much more on that. One, from not having deep knowledge on it. Um, but two also, because you know, I don't want to spoil things for you too much as you as we play through. There might be things that we run into, and then we can talk about them at the time. Um, but yes, there are ways to uh, go even further. Um, so don't basically don't worry too much if you've invested your points and you think, oh, I don't like this anymore, or you know, I I I always think, oh, it could be quite good to do strength and a big big sword kind of thing. Um, but I usually end up going then sword and board, but investing in everywhere else. So I'm kind of a bit weak, and that's why I always rely on having these fighters, these uh, folks coming along with me. Like our trusty red shirt over here. Oh, let's give you back your sword before I forget. Um, so again, uh, sorry, just to round off on the attributes and the perks and everything. Um, that's why learning about or experimenting maybe with their food... Um, so that you can see which food gives them a higher chance of buffs and growth in certain areas. If you want this guy, he's currently using a strength weapon and has a an enhanced chance for that because he's eating gruel. Um, if we gave him some different foods uh, and he's using agility, for example, he is actually, in his core, an archer and he does have a bow. So it might be better to give him one of these foods that's going to... Uh, buff his agility scores however i don't know which one's which so i'd have to look them up on a wiki probably or just give him these different foods like cooked fish grilled steak exquisite stew <clears throat> some of these we can make now some of them not yet um but give them these different foods and see you know how it affects them over time so just keep an eye on those those different scores and things uh, as your as your uh npcs level up right so that's just a little bit about attributes and whatnot uh we're gonna make some more investment here um so if i continue to invest in authority up to fifth perk i get a one called irritate active followers will goad enemies attempting to force them to attack your follower that means i could go around for example doing stabby stabby um but we're going down this agility path which is kind of a new one for me so I'm going to keep investing in this direction. We're going to get to this extra backstab damage. And then I think this will combine nicely with the authority. At least I imagine it will. If they goad the enemy into attacking them, then it gives us more opportunities to run around the back and backstab, right? With 15% uh, increased damage. So sounds like a good combination. Um, okay, in terms of investing our points, uh, we've invested in the Journeyman Mason. So we can build... Uh, that's unlocked Stone Brick uh construction as well as insulated wood construction so if i hit get my thing out again here and building pieces we've also now got um not reinforced stone sorry stone brick um and as you can see this is using bricks shaped wood and iron uh, reinforcements to make some nicer looking uh, and more sturdy building pieces um, so as part of that, I've also, we talked about this in the first episode as well, been cooking up some bricks. Got 324. That won't last very long. You know, we need a lot. 
Um, so as we've talked about getting resources and whatnot, it's, uh, yeah, we're into that kind of slightly painful beginner cycle now that you know from a lot of crafting and, and survival games where it's like, oh, we need all the things. Okay, we gotta we got to do more runs for resources and stuff like that. But I'm going to try not to do too much repetitive content for you in that. I'm going to go and uh, do that myself. But yeah, here they are. Look, they're all chilling out over by their new... Uh, the new area having a breather from the kitchen there lovely uh good for you um okay so let's go do some searchy search shall we oh sorry i nearly forgot let's have a look at the journeys because we're following this from a new player's point of view um access or place a campfire craft a campfire from your inventory and place the campfire on the ground so this feels like something we've done a bunch of times but because we hadn't um, completed the previous steps i guess it still thinks and he wants us to cook raw meat and then eat a cooked meal so uh, you know i think it's quite good that they've got the system in here and it gives you this guidance i think that's fun to follow i think it's a little bit peculiar that you kind of do a lot of these steps and then it doesn't count because you hadn't unlocked that step so you know that makes you go through baby steps in exactly that order I'm not sure that's as fun as it could be but you know not to be too harsh on it um also when we hit level 20 it unlocked, I believe, yes, this new journey here called Sorcerer. So it says, it begins with, as we talked about before, find and defeat a sorcerer. So to learn the art of sorcery, you will need to find where to seek its source. By defeating sorcerers found at enemy encampments, you too can learn where to unlock the power of sorcery. So as I said, I already know where that place is and I've shown you briefly. But let's start by adventuring somewhere else and going through a couple more thrall camps looking for the caged... Uh, people that we can free and let's see if during that we coincidentally also find a sorcerer who we can defeat and get the map and that way i can walk you through the really uh, uh bare bones of it all um also here what we've got chef unlock bonfire knowledge cook a meal cook meat in the bonfire unlock the grinder okay we have that put a stone grinder down uh unlock the fisher knowledge access or place a fish trap okay and then farmer so there's a whole bunch of things here to, uh, to do as well. Access or place a crude planter. That's going to be fun. Craft a skinning knife. You see, we've done a lot of these things. Come on, game. Craft light armor. Wear a piece of light armor. Okay. <laughs> oh, I started to laugh and then I went into a coughing fit. So there you go. There's that. Um, but yeah, skinning corpses and whatever. So I don't know what the, what the gap here is, um, but I'd like it if they sort of closed that gap off a little bit and made it a bit easier. Um, so access will place an altar. So there's also acolyte. There's religious stuff to learn in the game. There's lots of religions and lore around that stuff. That's really cool. Dismantling, put bone into the grinder. You see, we've done that. So why? Okay, because again, just the order of play. If I take that bone, no, that doesn't count. Okay. So I don't I don't entirely get that. So don't worry too much about the journey steps. Or as in don't get too hyper focused on them. I think we should take red shirt. And we should go. Now what I've done here is I've looked up some of the early game areas where cages might be and just put these question marks down here. Now some of these might be areas we can fight through quite easily because uh, again near the new barrier and some of them up here might be quite a lot more dangerous. So we're going to see if both myself and red shirt survive the battle. Um, but I think what we should do is uh, have a little run along and uh, up the river, knock out a few things, see if we can get a couple more levels for Red Shirt and uh, test out his new armor uh, and see if we can't find some people to uh, liberate from these cages. So let's go. Come on, bud. Come on, Red Shirt. Red Shirt won. We had so much confidence in this fella. Uh, I've got seven healing potions on me. I've got a bunch of wraps. I think maybe I will just quickly grab a couple more potions. Not that I don't have confidence in myself. There we go. It's a bit, it's a little bit better. Okay, let's go with 10. I think 10 sounds like a better number than seven. <laughs> um, weight wise, we're at 108 of 50, we're 49%. That's not too bad. We're carrying a little bit here and there. We've got some of these truncheons if we find someone cool that we want to knock out. Um, we do have 
Uh, yeah, we've got 30 arrows. We've got a campfire. We've got a uh, shield. I have repaired all of my tools as well. So another reminder to just get the tools repaired before you head out and your weapons and your shields and stuff like that. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Uh, I'm sticking to the base armor for now, but we might wear something a bit more fanciful as we progress a bit further. Just, just so that I don't look like old uh, McClone over here. Oh, but remember he does that big jump. That's that guy's first starting maneuver. There we go. Got him. Good job. Uh, do we want to be skinning and stuff? We don't. Got to be careful of weight. I'll tell you what, we'll take it for now. And. Uh, and always that gives us stuff to throw away don't get any eggs that's unnecessary okay we've got some hyena friends up here so let's go have some hyena friends there is a giant the giant crocodile in there the mini boss fight we could i mean that's a nasty one that's really he's, we could have a go with me and richard i've got a feeling that one if not both of us might not come out of that fight looking too smart okay Oh, they've gone straight for him again, so I'll use, uh, to get into some backstabbing practice. All right, nice. Good job. Good job. Okay, I'm not, I've actually just changed my mind. I'm not going to skin everything as we go along, because we're just going to end up so over cucumbered. It's going to be redonkulous. All right, here we go, Croc. Yep, yeah, that's it. Get really right up in front of his nose and then use your bow. That's that's the tactics. Nice. Okay, good job. Good job. We continue onwards. I think that's that little popper that ran away before. Yeah, look. We wanted another pet pet hyena. Right, stay on target. Alright, here's some more to kill. We're just gonna kinda kill everything here because it's gonna help with our leveling process and Oh, for the other guy. So you can see last, for that previous group, for some reason they went for uh, red shirt. And this group has gone for me. And if I keep investing in that authority and get that perk at five points, uh, then they should no longer be coming after me anymore. Okay, nice. There we go. Good job. You can see in the crevices there, there's little bits of iron and stuff. That could be handy. We're definitely going to need some more metals, but uh, that's not our current quest. We are... Nearly halfway there. Hopefully we're going to find a cage here. Now there have been a few little issues on some servers and that with this. Maybe that was part of the patch that dropped earlier. Um, but on single player games they've generally been spawning in and working fine as you should. Sometimes what you might find is you might have to uh, close, you know, go back to the main menu and log back in again. And then it will refresh the cages. If, they, if you find that they're not... Um, bringing in more uh, people back in and resetting the cages and everything in the camps promptly like it's been you know an hour or so whatever timing you've got set for your game settings um, then just try uh, try just uh, logging out and logging back in again so we're restarting the game and that should fix it in single player Okay, onwards. Where are we now? Not far, around this corner. So they're up there somewhere. Possibly up on that ridge. I can't remember. Oh, more crocs to kill. Let's go. Get some nice bleeds on you. Let old red shirt get some damage in. <laughs> okay, he's leveled up. Nice. Excellent. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> So yeah, um, there's also, there's lots of guides and things out there, web websites and uh, on YouTube, a lot of content that will show you like where to find good followers and how to get them a bit earlier on and stuff like that. So, you know, have at it if, uh, if you're looking to go beyond the beginner stuff early on, um, but we're going to continue on our nice little beginner journey here. Oh, they might be down on the bottom. They might be a bit up and down. Uh, oh, 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 it's very dark. I can't see where the crop's coming from. Oh, there he is. Oh, and I think he's going for red shirt. Watch yourself, red shirt. 
<laughs> okay, swing and a miss. There we go. Good job. Oh, uh, that sounded quite terrifying. <gasps> oh, I just realized they re-enabled the, uh, the wild hunt or whatever event it's called. So there are these creepy little, uh, man bear pigs. No, these like, um, big hyena men or were werewolf kind of, I'm not sure exactly what they are. Um, they're going to appear at night sometimes and come running after you. Yeah, the hyena. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. I don't have all the details, so I don't want to misspeak on the event. Um, but it's this uh, sacred hunt and that got a hunter satchel for us which is a consumable so if I re right click on that that's given us a flesh map <gasps> more secrety stuff that's cool I'm gonna throw these fangs away I don't need them I'm gonna throw all this pelt away I don't need them. okay let's have a look at this flesh map look at this <gasps> so it's telling us to go somewhere um I have been here, I think, once before, but on a roleplay server, and I don't remember the details quite a while ago. <coughs> so we've got to look for something on the map where you've got these kind of, I don't know, tents and structures, maybe a broken scaffolding or a bridge or something, some ladders. And then there's a triangle marked here on this on this flesh. So see if we can memorize that. And then there's something that looks like a... Uh, if I remember... It's some... No, I don't remember at all. I think... Ah! Aha! Yes! So look away if you don't want spoilers. Um, but over here where there's this little oasis... Oasis... A -A -A -I, the Latin plural of oasis. Just above that, there's an area with a bunch of NPCs. And I think some of them are friendly or you can talk to as merchants. But a lot of them will try and kill you. Um, and it's telling us to go... Somewhere like here, I think it was, wasn't it? This dot here, or some somewhere in that region. Let's have another look. Oh, where these two dots here are, just to the southwest diagonal of that uh, thing there. Okay. Right. So, about here-ish. So, let's put a, uh, a text marker there. And uh, we'll put, um, uh, we'll just put here Sacred Hunt. And we'll see. Oh, that's great. We'll have that to go and do. Okay. Wonderful. Now, what I remember of this event is that it's super fun. Like, it's a bit scary suddenly having these people, like, hunting us and stuff at night. But, uh, you know, we're quite well prepared and, and we're down in the New River area, so this shouldn't be too violent. Um, your results may vary. Ah, uh, look, you can see that camp. It's actually up the top, so we need to go this way. We can obviously climb as well. But let's run this way and see what we run into. Come on, red shirt, keep up. I think that's a more aggressive one. I can't remember if that's one... No, it's a, it's a bigger one that you get different meat from. The darker hue to its hide. Alright. It's always a bit spooky when you come up over a ridge, right? What's going to happen? Now, I don't know whether these are like newbie level or like a bit tougher. So we'll just have a bit of food. I, I, it's not going to help that much, but it makes me feel more confident. And um, we'll see if we can draw these out. Actually, we can try using our bowl. And get that young lady there, who's also an archer. Oh, got a two for two. Nice. Let's see if we can kill her from here. I wish I had arrows that could have a bleed on them. Maybe we'll unlock some exciting, like... Uh, Dangerous exploding arrows. Uh, I, you probably want to defend yourself a bit there, buddy. Okay, let's go for our. Oh, I think Red Shirt's gonna go down. He's down. He did go down. Oh, no, he went down like a sack of sods. Hey, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. We hadn't finished talking. Okay, so again, we've got the downed mechanism. We had this at the end of the uh, 
the previous video. Uh, he's got sort of three goals before he's really out for the count. I'm going to force feed him a bit of gruel. Get his health back up. But yeah, he is not ready for this camp. Even with the medium armor. So yeah, there's that. So let's have a look. Does she have anything good on her? Oh, Defari bug soup. Nice. Okay, I don't want that other stuff. Right, thanks, ma'am. Uh, what about you, young fella? You got a crocodile head trophy. Okay, I love the bones. Skin braces. That could be fun for just uh, our other supporters. Okay. Red shirt, come over here. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to use the bow and arrow again to draw them out as best I can, one at a time. I think we might be looking at three here, though. Okay, that's no good. Oh, I think that's a sorcerer. Or sorceress, either way. With the uh, with the black attire there. Ooh, and you're the jailer. That's what we want. You're going to have the key. You're going to have the key on you. Oh, red shirt's gone down again, gang. He's not, he's really not up to this. You missed. Oh, hello. I took a hit there. I'm doing all right today. God, this must be a good fighting day. Who am I? And what have I done with the real grumbles? Got him. Okay, so let's have a look at his gear. Rock knows. We've not run into one of those yet. Defari sword. Uh, cripple. I don't know if that's better than the other thing that he... So Red Shirt has already used two out of three. He's already used two out of three. <laughs> they got a lot of animal trophies, this tribe. They seem to be into that. So here's what we wanted. The Jailer's Key. Oh, that's fantastic. So we're already... Uh, we're already on a good winner here. The fiery chest that looks pretty cool actually. I'll take that. That could be good clothing for our I'll get you up in a moment. Oh, some war paint, excellent. Oh, and a bone shield. Okay, that would be better, but we've got a metal shield now, so. Um okay, up you get some. He's really not doing well, is he? Can I I don't know if I can feed him a potion. Is that a thing? Oh, I can feed him a potion. There we go. I think they're not smart enough to feed them themselves or to get the timing. I think that's a bit much to ask the AI. Um, okay, but we got the key. We've got the secret. And now there's a sorceress all on her lonesome. So we're actually going to get all the thing. I think she could be a priestess. Thinking about it. She could actually be a priestess as well. Really? You stood right there to block my... Oh, look at the violence. Look at the violence she brings. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Red shirt is really not good enough. He's not cut out for this. Oh. Okay. Was she was Oh, she was a level 3 sorceress. Oh. Bat skin, leather satchel, stone guardian and skullus cultus master knowledge. Okay, let's right-click that and learn that. Skellis Cult Master arm Armor, we learned. And Forgotten Furnishings. Yay. We got a Stone Guardian Torso. And then if we click on this Leather Satchel, right-click it rather, um, we get a bunch of things. We get a Dead Sorcerer's Map. We get five notes. Uh, I think we get some of those pouches or burlap sack. Yeah, these for casting magics. And, uh, oh, an iron truncheon as well. Oh, that's handy. Oh, my goodness. She would have been a really good one to take with us as well. But, well, you know, we'll get to that. So we know that a Sorceress 3 can spawn in this camp. Doesn't mean she'll always be there, but that's good to know. Okay, let's have a look at this map. Right. So as I described earlier, and as per the other sacred hunt thing that we got, you get a strong clue here, like a treasure map style. This really, really thick bend here, like a full-on new bend, almost in the uh, in a river, opening out to two estuaries here or whatever, uh, and a, and what looks like it might be a cave or something there. I mean, we've already talked about it, um, and on the edge of something here, I don't know what that is. So let's have a look on the map. Now again, I know where it is, but.
but if you had a look at this overall map it might take you a, a, a moment or two to work it out but if we look for a really really strong bends there's this one here maybe but it just doesn't split out here into two on where you think the map equivalent is um but if we look here i think we'll find that's the uh that's the clue right let's have a look so it goes round like that and then there's some uh s steep cliffs here and drop offs and whatnot and a bit of rock jutting out like that so if we look back here oh look bit of rock jutting out here S steep cliff drop offs so it kind of you know you can it's good enough right here you would see this for example these structures and there's no sign of any structures like that so that would give you the clue anyway there you go um yeah so that's uh, a dead source i don't think she'll give us anything special if we hit her she's just a a person uh there's nothing in there I'm going to keep an eye out for any books or anything to learn on the floor. So when you're walking around these areas, entertain. So there must be a dark... Oh, look, E to interact. So there's something here that I can interact with. Oh, I think it's this weapon uh, here. There we go. We found a Yog Cleaver. I think that's a religious weapon. Ritual Harvest. Yes, rudimentary jawbone. I don't know what this gives. Let's have a look. So we take that onto a downed, a dead opponent. We get human flesh and unblemished human meats. <gasps> okay. Cool. Do you know, I'm having a moment here where I, I can't remember which... Was that the... Did we go... We went with Yog this time. Oh, fantastic. There's actually more Yog stuff we can unlock as well. Oh, we can have a look into that. Oh, that's cool. But we got ourselves our... um our yog uh information uh, uh, uh weapon all right let's pick him up again now look this i'm taking a big risk here red shirt okay i've picked you up i'm taking a big risk because if you go down one more time you've got you see the little symbol there the white skull with the three reds around it <laughs> pretty sure he's dead as a dodo now look there's another sorcerer over there <gasps> I think we could try and knock the sorcerer out. Wait, he only had his bow. What happened to his foul cutter? Maybe he did the weapon. No, it can break. Oh, it's in his hand, dude. I'm always doing that. I'm always missing that. Okay, let's give you a truncheon. I'm going to take this metal truncheon that we got. I'm going to take out my shield. And we're going to see if we can get ourselves... Because this would be a bonus. This would be a big bonus. If we get ourselves a, uh, a sorcerer to work with us as well. We could kill them just for their knowledge and their, uh... Oh, a dictionary. Black Kingdom's language. There you go. We learned the language of the Black, Black Kingdoms. I don't know about that. Awesome. Oh, uh, you know what? We'll have some weathered skulls and some, uh... Oh, some wind chimes. Oh, and there's a seal water skin. Okay, and I'm thirsty. How perfect is that? Okay, let's see if we can, uh... So this sorcerer is in the middle of performing a ritual. Hello. Oh, Defari Medicine Man 2. Okay. Oh. Well, you went down real quick with that, uh, with this iron truncheon. All right, let's see what else is here. Oh, I don't think we're going to be rescuing this fellow anytime soon. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take this guy. Medicine Man 2 uh, Sorcerer. Oh, that's really good. I didn't... That is, that is a real bonus all right let's go all right red shirt we're gonna get you home you can have a bit of a dance with zara and uh cheer yourself up uh by the way also before i forget it's worth always looking around these places here because sometimes you'll find an area where a sorcerer is doing a ritual um or whatever and there might be a sorcerer spell page or other goodies for your sorcery we'll get into that in a little bit once we've learned the sorcery um, oh, I nearly forgot about the the cage entirely. Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? I'm such a scatterbrain. Wait, that's every day. Um, okay, so uh, you go up. We've got the the key from the jailer. You remember here? So the big person we knocked out, or we killed before. We click on that, opens the cage, and then this person comes out. Please be a barman. You're a dancer. 
You have rescued a thrall. Okay, so this dancer now belongs to us. Okay. Fantastic. Now, I don't know. So they're guarding. Um, okay, with this HUD you a thing that I have here, the hosts have... We've got add to party. So I don't know if that means I can take an extra one with me. Because I think otherwise he would just stay here, right? Let's see. Let's grab our sorcerer and go to leave. Yeah, so we've got this guy now. If we wanted to keep this guy, he's a level one. We've already got a level one dancer. We could have another dancer to go with Zara. Um, if we wanted to keep this guy, uh, get rid of this guy, we could just do break bond. Uh, I'm going to try... Well, it's a mod thing. I don't know how this is going to work. Let's see. Can I do add to party? Oh. Add to party. Okay, so you see on the right-hand side, that's adding... So I can see their information. I can see their health and everything. Ah, okay. Interesting. That's quite handy because I can see at a glance then whether they're going down or how it's going. Um, okay, I can't get you to follow me though. We could run back home and then run back over again and get you. Let's do that. All right, you, I'm going to call you Neville. All right, Neville, we're going to be back to get you soon. You're, you're Nord, you're Neville, Neville of the Nords. Right, we're going to come back and get you. But if if it you know if it takes too long and these people have come back, I'm sorry. All right, but I really need to get this sorcerer back. Okay, what a that is such a big win. I didn't expect to get all of that. That's the first time also that I've got someone out of a cage too. So brand new content for me as well. Let's go. Come on, red shirt. He's only a tier one dancer. So again, it's a bit of RNG. This is a lower tier kind of uh, thrall camp, so I wouldn't expect anything super, but I don't know. As for the barkeeper, um, I don't know whether they can be like in the lower level camps. I assume they can just be in any of them. So yeah, we can always check back on that again later, but that's really good to know. I, I, I'm, I'm really chuffed with that. <coughs> really, really chuffed with that. I didn't... Uh, oh, dear, that crocodile's having a bad time with that rock, rock isn't he? All right. Well, we might be able to run back and get Neville. I'll probably just edit that bit out. Save a bit of time. But, yeah, let's run home with this fella. This sorcerer is, a, 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 like I said, a big, big Brucey bonus for us. It's a good result. So that follower party thing on the right there, we, obviously if you're not running that mod that I'm using, um, you won't have access to that, but um, I think it's worth... Oh, no more room because we've got the tanner. Did we, we converted it though. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So there we go. Maybe we need to bigger build a bigger wheel if we've got one. We're going to need a bigger wheel. Okay, here we go. We're going to start converting this uh, Defari Medicine Man too. Perfect. That's so good. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm genuinely super excited about this. Alright, we've got a tanner. So um Tannery Tina, we'll call you. We're gonna have to start making some more clothes, you know. I guess you can wear that. <laughs> Since we just got that for free. Oh we got that as well. Oh what else did we get? Did we get anything else? No. Okay. Fantastic. We got this bat skin as well. So I'm curious whether we can... Uh... So now our tannery has a crafting speed buff, 1.25. Uh, I'm wondering if we can strip that down on the tanner's table. Wait, that's the artisan table. Uh, tanner's table. So she also affects the tanner's table at the same time, thanks to this update. It's a good thing. Uh, we can put bat skin in there. Oh, there we go. Bat skin is a recipe. It gives us, unfortunately, just normal hide. But there you go. Let's put that hide down. Oh, we got drums. There we go. Look, we got something for them to enter. Uh, excuse me. <sighs> Luckily, I built this with that in mind. <laughs> Here you go. You can play some drums of an evening for us. Lovely. Chop, chop. Play the drums. Actually, I'm just really curious now. Can I? 
move you and put you on the no, I can't put you so that doesn't the drum doesn't count as an active station okay I guess that could be irritating uh we also got some other cool things we got some wind chimes okay those ones don't function but there are some others in the game that I've got unlocked um that do again it's uh battle pass content from from before okay awesome let's get our shields ready oh we got this iron truncheon is such a big win as well got so many cool things oh we need to give red shirt back a weapon before i forget now let's have a look he's using his foul cutter health damage 30 penetration 8 okay that's way better than this Tafari sword okay so we'll give you that my i don't know if i'm gonna give him back his bowl i'll give him back his bowl i know all right it's it's only a matter of time before red shirt dies but you know it is what it is now i did build another storage box i believe we've also unlocked if i get my construction hammer out i believe we've also unlocked better storage boxes oh no we haven't yet we haven't spent the points so knowledge uh, mm -hmm. Here we go, box maker. So now we have large chests. Excellent. Uh, which needs... Let's see, decoration, storage, large chest. Which I think is the same as the Singaran one. Okay, we'll use the base game one again. We're trying to stick everything, re you know, vanilla where we can. So 15 shaped wood from the carpentry uh, station. And five iron reinforcements. So here we go, five of these take five and some shaped wood number seven decoration storage bigger box and we'll plonk that down just here nice okay big bigger chest gonna need a bigger chest uh, i'm gonna start putting some weird stuff in there <laughs> i don't want to lose that map I think we'll remember where it is. Uh, we put uh, we put a marker in, didn't we? Did we? Did I remember to do that? I did. I put a marker there. Wonderful. And now we've got this. We know where the sorcery thing is uh, legitimately instead of from my uh, prior knowledge. We've got these gnarled fangs, two of them. I don't know what they're going to give us. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there anything else that was super... Oh, yes. So, stone guardian torso. Now, I've never yet built a... Uh, stone guardian myself so <clears throat> that's gonna be good unblemished human meat um okay that's gonna be something that we use on our sacrificial altar i guess or not sacrificial altar sorry um well I, <laughs> our big cooking pot the, the big cooking pot that we get from uh from yog from being a follower of yog that's it big cooking pot yes say no more all right wonderful so we have some spare weaponry in case we need to do that for our guards. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, let's put some bones in here, some aloe. What other resources can we put away? Uh, oh, there, those are just generic seeds. They're no use for anything. Oh, war paint. Okay, well, let's put that away. We don't. So, got to remember that if I go down, I'm going to lose what's in my pockets, right? So we've got this extra leather pouch. I'm going to put that away for now. Actually, I'm going to put that in my uh, fancy random things box. Actually, uh, this isn't one that we open, is it? No. We used it, okay, from the sorcerer. There we go. Okay, I think I can put one of those truncheons. I'm just looking at my weight, 52%. Wow, that was, uh, that was so good. What a great run. Good job, Red Shirt. I mean, you might have taken a dirt nap three times in a row, but... You know, I guess uh, you did okay. Access a placed campfire. Oh, it just completed that journey step. I wonder if that was a bit buggy and now that they've um, they fixed it. That could be what's happening. Oh, well, I ate a grilled steak. I ate some human flesh. I ate some shredded roast. It's not, it's not updating any of my... Uh, quest point so I don't think it's working exactly as I would expect cook raw meat okay so I took the meat out and now oh no it, now it's cooked now it's updated okay 
So now if I take the meat and I eat some... Oh, survivor completed. Huh. Okay, so there you go. You've seen it live with me. It's a little bit uh, funky. Wonderful. Okay, so I press J. Survivor. And this is completely done now. We get a reward. And we click here, claim reward. And it gives us the supply material. Now, you remember right at the beginning, I said that when we get that, we've got to be careful that we've got some boxes and things. This weighs five. If we right click it, it suddenly opened up and it gave us RNG a thousand branches. 1,000 branches. Oh, and 500 stone. So, ah. Uh, excuse me, buddy. I'll put you there for a moment. <clears throat> so, yeah. Luckily, we got some places we can put in that. So, a thousand branches. Amazing. Uh, and 500 stone. There you go. Okay. I think that's gone really well so far. All right. Now, uh, we can go back and rescue uh, our Nordheimer dancer. Uh, I want you to follow me, bud. Follow me again. How long is this done? Oh, this is done already. Fantastic. Let's get our sorcerer out and see what they look like by the pitch black. All right, our medicine man. Look at you. You look cool. I need to get you a different outfit for sure. A medicine man can't go around with just wearing this, all this stuff here. Let's put them on defensive. Let's drop this down here. We don't want them chasing off after anyone. Okay, fantastic. So we got this medicine man guy. Uh, I'm going to move you and put you on uh, my alchemy table. Except you're going to go and take your break anyway. Okay, do what you want, buddy. Do what you want. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Some spare wraps and things. Okay. So, uh, I will now go and rescue um, Neville. He's not dead already. Uh, and then we will continue our journey. And I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go up here to the next question mark cave area. We'll just, we'll just do one more just for funsies. I'll get you to stand guard, actually. Boom. I'm going to go and get Neville. Hopefully, they're not all going to attack. Because if they do, I don't think Neville's making it out of there alive. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't want to fight. Is, uh, this, is this one? This is, uh, oh, no. He's got Lucas. Look. He's got demon eyes. And he's got one, uh, one skull. So let's not get bit by him. Oh, look at that. We hardly do any damage to him whatsoever with these iron tools. I mean, we do a little bit and the bleed, I think the bleed is what's adding up. Ow, he took well, half my health in one chomp. Come on then, buddy. Chompy chomp. Chompy chompy chomp. There he goes. There's his animation. Stabby, stabby, stab, stab. Oh, he tried to chomp me again, didn't he? Ow, oh, I'm nearly down. Oh dear. Quick. Oh, that was close. Come on, do your animation. Okay, and now it's my turn. Oh. Ah. <laughs> this is great. So, yeah, you can find these little, uh, these are like the mini, mini bosses. And then you can find like proper bosses, like the big, the giant crocodile. And then there's obviously lots of groovy stuff in and around dangerous locations or uh, dungeons. Now, I think this guy's going to give us something something special. I'm going to take the cleaver out. We'll try the cleaver on him. No, that's just feral flesh. I'll take the patchet. Demon blood. And a crocodile head. More demon blood. Okay, so I use the hatchet. Okay, interesting. Demon blood. Crocodile head. I suppose we could make a statue out of that. Alright, that's our crocodile head. We'll take it. 
Okay, there's that passive healing coming in handy for me again. So again, might not be everyone's choice. And it's not gonna, you know, save you if you get yourself in way too much trouble. But just helping me out recovering a little bit over time. We did use a healing potion as well. So during the active combat, you really want your healing potions ready to go. But uh, in between your battles and that when you're just running away from annoying hyenas, especially if you're quite low health, then that, having that little passive heal is... Uh, Quite handy. Look at the size of that one. Is that a single? I wonder if that's a single sized the uh, single skull rather, or more than that. Look at him. Where's he going? He's he's agitated by something. Oh yeah, he's oh so that's another demonized one. So if we needed more of that demon blood, we'll probably need some of that later. I don't know, but right now I don't need it. We've got to get to Neville before that whole camp respawns. Or another group of settlers moves into that camp. <laughs> I think it might already be too late. But let's see, shall we? Oh, I just realised my cup of tea's going cold. So much excitement. Oh no, they're all there again. How has Neville not been murderized? Maybe he's been put back in his cage. Oh no, now they're attacking him that I've come in range. Oh, poor Neville. Stop it! Two on one, that's not fair. I've got to get rid of this archer because he'll uh, he'll be he'll be a pain. Oh, healing potion and using the bushes to my benefit. Excuse me, madam. Okay, you're down. I don't think Neville's gonna... No, Devil... Neville's down! Neville's down already. Oh, let's use a wrap. We got a moment. <laughs> okay, we don't have red shirt as a distraction this time, so we've really got to be on point with our... Uh, with our attacks. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, that's a miss as well. Oh, that's a miss as well. Oh, there's so many. Oh, dear. Oh, oh no. I rolled out of the damage and then back into it again. Oh, I'm off. I'm off. You can keep him. You, I didn't want him anyway. You can keep him. Hey. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was close. Okay, I think we lost. I think we lost Neville. <laughs> I'm not sure there's anything I can do for Neville. That's too many to take at once. Maybe if I snuck in there and got Neville back in the fight, but... Oh, I stopped the healing thing because I interrupted the wraps. I forgot about it, the wraps. Okay. Oh, let's give it one more go to rescue Neville. I don't think it's going to go in our favor. We'll have some berries for, to, again, just for the confidence. We'll have a Defari bog soup as well. Well, we took off them earlier. Oh, that has a cooling effect. That's cool to know. Oh. Yeah, so as I said, maybe not for the real beginner, this camp. But you know, it's it's we we could we could we could beat them. We're just uh, we need to do better with like our shots like that. Ow! Son of a biscuit, you're down. Okay. No no no! Ow! Oh, sausages! Run away! See, this is why we need to invest in more stamina grumbles. Oh! Don't take his hit! No! No! Ow! Oh, sugar! Oh, that was so close! Oh, I killed myself by falling off the ledge! Oh. <sighs> <sighs>
Okay, well, you were killed by yourself. Wouldn't be a Grumbles playthrough without that, would it? Would it now? Oh, all right. Let's try and get... Oh, we can't get Devil. How are we going to get Devil out of there? They're all going to be fully healed up as well. I don't think I got enough bleeds off. All right, let's go and rescue our gear. <laughs> so another tip for newcomers is if in doubt, throw yourself off a ledge if you think you're going down. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, take all. Marvelous. Okay, we've got our gear back on. We can get rid of our body for some hide and bone. There we go. Which actually, we might as well uh, throw away for the weights. Certainly don't want that stone. We'll throw that hide away. We don't need that right now. We've got that human flesh. Okay, our weapons have taken quite a bit of damage. But they should still be good. We've got one more round here. I'm going to have one more fight. See if we can rescue Neville. Otherwise, Neville, I'm afraid I've returned you to your friend. Oh, are they all back? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. They're all back. Oh, my God. Oh, not missed. Whoopsie. I'm gonna go and kill you. What the? Or I'm gonna miss because I'm not very good at this. Look how hard they hit. That's only a fight of one as well. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Oh, you got a repair kit. I'll have that. Oh, a weapon repair kit. Oh, don't mind if I do. So I can put my weapons in my pocket, grab this simple kit, drag it on there, and it repairs it. It does reduce the durability of the weapon, but that's the trade-off. So you can see now that the durability has a red bar at the end of it, so that it can't be fully repaired anymore. Oh, a bit of clothing. Okay, nice. Uh, let's have a healing potion. Okay. And this guy. Ooh, you've got a banner. I like those. I like taking their banners. And you? You have horns. Okay, that's handy. For uh, other stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's see. One more go. We're having one more go, okay? This is, this is it. <clears throat> Missed. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Neville, why he's suddenly coming to the edge of the fight. Uh, uh, oh my god, I could have no stamina left. we'll call this a bust <clears throat> I think we'll call this a bust oh because otherwise the only other choice I've got is to take red uh red shirt with me again Hang on, let's close this door like red shirt can you let go of the door buddy if you follow me what is your status in terms of your skulls and everything you're full you're back okay so he's been at home long enough to recover so he's got his three death markers again oh my god am i really gonna do this is this is calamitous this is this is, i feel like i've committed so much now that i've got to do it i feel like my stubbornness is like we've got to do this we can do this we can do this <laughs> come on red shirt you and me buddy we're gonna we're gonna take them all down okay have you got you've got weaponry I'm tempted to take your bow away so you just go straight into melee because you're going to be more useful with that. Let's try it. Okay. Here we go. I think he's going to have to fight the first bunch off so I can get to my death. To my corpse. Yep. I can't actually get to my corpse. I, got, I can take this weapon though. Oh, she's got a bow. Oh my god. Hello. 
Okay. Oh, we both uh, did the same move and we both missed. Uh, if I actually get in here and get all my gear first, that could be a better option. Okay, good job. Good job, Red Shirt. You're nearly dead, but well done. I got no ammo left. <gasps> okay, these guys usually have arrows on them. Oh, and a load of flesh that I didn't mean to grab. There we go. Got him. Oh, we flipping got him. We did it. Oh. Okay, we still haven't rescued Neville. I think Neville's dead. I don't know if I should go sword and board for this fight. Maybe, maybe it would do me better. Because there's an awful lot of them. <laughs> then again, I don't really have a good sword. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. Okay, did you drop anything fun? Got some more, some more outfits. Oh, another impaled skull. Okay, I'll take that. Ten damage bow. That's not bad. Some claws. Poor old Lucky Hawkins. He's not being very lucky on this one. All right, last last go, gang. Actually, what is your 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 back to health now? You've only got three hundred health points. So I want to try and take out the dancer. Get that one on me. If I can get my uh, my bleeds in before they get near. Oh, that doesn't help. It's the medicine man again. But he's dead. Ah, take that medicine man. Oh, missed. Swing and a miss. Okay, backstab. Oh. Yes. Oh, no. And pop to healing. Oh, yes, she's down. Oh, oh, what's that? Treasure. An effigy doll. Nice. And a jailer. Okay, another jailer's key. Warhammer, spiced, some food, some furs. Okay, and you're healed up. Oh, my God, this is going really well. well I said that before, though. <laughs> I did say that before. Uh, we got the dead medicine. We got a cloth satchel. Explosive guardian head. What? What's in that satchel? Oh, more cloth pouches. A dead sorcerer's map again. More notes. Oh, we got a sorcerer's spell page. Wow, that's lucky. We got our first sorcerer's spell page. Let's go. It was worth the effort. It was worth the hassle of coming back. Okay, so let's go and have a look. If they've all respawned... Neville, Neville, oh, Neville, <laughs> um, they took his head off, I'll take it the clothing, oh, Neville of the Nord, well, they literally took his head off, we could make a meal out of you, oh, so we got the cage, but there's nothing in it, so if we interact with that, that's a waste of that key, probably, I'm gonna guess that's how that works, all right, Okay, there's nothing, there's no other things to learn here. Let's take out this other sorcerer again. Oh, we already took them out, didn't we? The medicine man, that was it. Okay. Oh, here we go. So, let's start with this. So, this is a Defari Sorcerer 1. So, this is a lower level guy than we got last time. Down you go. Okay, so again... We'll take the spice of burlap satchel. So we got more. There's nothing here again. Okay. Good to know. So, but that was worth it because we've got another burlap satchel. And in there, there's another note. Ow! Who the? What the? Where did you come from? Oh, backstab. Or not. Because I missed. There we go. She's going down. Nice. Oh my goodness, she was hiding somewhere in the wings. Gah. Oh, and off you go. Oh, don't don't move down there. Stay up here, buddy. 
Okay, let's go. Let's get out of this place because we have not been all that lucky. I'm even stuck on a plant now. Okay, I'm out of here. Oh, there is someone. So someone spawned. Okay. Someone spawned in the cage now. Let's open the cage. We freed someone. Who are you? Are you a bartender? Connell the Hammer. Oh, you're a name thrall? Oh my goodness. Yes, follow me. All right, let's get the, oh, he's an, he, so, okay. So this is a, a very important thing. Uh, I didn't think we would get into this at this point, but wow. Um, this guy is what's called a named thrall. So he will do special, he'll have special recipes. He can just do more than a normal thrall. He would have me, I don't know what recipes he's going to have, but it looks like he's a bladesmith or something, a weaponsmith. So we're going to definitely take him. I'm going to get my guys out this time. Uh, come on, red shirt. Follow me. Let's go. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is interesting. So that was just the timing. So we haven't logged out or anything. We've been recording the whole time, playing the whole time. So that just shows you for, for beginners um, what's what in terms of those camps respawning. And then eventually the... Uh, the person in the cage also respawning so connell the hammer is gonna follow me we're gonna get you home safely oh this is amazing so we need oh actually let's check his aggression what oh it's this guy again oh no don't kill my new guy with the name he's a name throw what are you doing you tell him connell Oh, it's these guys again. So we take the fangs and the bag. Okay, uh, let's check his... No, check his info again. So I don't want any chasing. I don't want any attacking. I want defensive. Okay, let's go. Well, I want chasing. Come on, buddy. Let's get you home. Oh, I forgot about that hunt already. See how my mind works. It's so, so easily distracted. I'd already forgotten. Come on. No fighty fighty. No fight. <laughs> Come on, Connell. They call you Connell the Hammer. And you're a bladesmith. I call you Connell the let's not have any fights, please, and get home safely. Come on, buddy. Why are you so slow? So slow. I can't believe we got a named thrall. Okay, so as I said, a named thrall. I'm super excited about this. Uh, it might be the first one I've ever got on my own. Uh, a name thrall, as I said, will have special capabilities on the relevant tables. Now in the Age of Heroes update, it means he can work on more than one station. Um, so we're going to have to... Uh, we don't have to break him on the wheel or anything, train him. He's just hes just good to go. Um, and yeah, we should see what uh, special recipes and that he's got. I don't know if he needs any special equipment like higher tier uh, crafting benches or anything like that. But again, we're learning it live. Oh, it's very exciting. Let's get you home. Let's get you past these silly hyenas. Okay, luckily they're coming after me, so that's fine. Yeah, come on. Woo, woo, Benny Hill music. <laughs> ah. They've almost caught me. No, don't do it. Connell, what are you doing? No, Connell! Come, follow me! You absolute muppet, he's half dead already! <laughs> Connell the Muppet, I'm gonna call you. Not Connell the Hammer. Oh, this is this is always the danger. Okay. Oh, the key thing is to keep running yourself. I always panic and I start going back and that's what keeps them in trouble. So, oh, he's gotten himself into another fight. Don't you do it, Shaleback. I'm not going to be happy. Now, he should appear here. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, see, look, out of the bag, he came with 600 health. And that's without any other food or whatever. Can I give him that? Spice steaks, there you go, mate. Don't know if he'll eat those. 
He will. Okay, he's healing up and warming up as well, funny enough. Okay, we get him home. He looks like he's still holding his sword. Um, okay, let's put you... Uh, let's just put you over here for a minute. Put you on our blacksmithing table. Oh. Look at this. So, he's giving us 22.2% buff to light damage, heavy attack damage. Plus 6% armor penetration, plus 30.5% max durability, and encumbrance weight minus 12.5 on anything he makes. Plus, he knows uh, this additional recipe to make a reinforced steel from an iron reinforcement with additional steel fire. So it saves you some processing steps and some resources. Oh, wow. I thought he might know more recipes than that, to be honest, but these are fantastic buffs. So we can make ourselves a new set of blades that will be more dangerous than what we had before. Okay, so the standard set, health damage 11, and our set is health damage 12, armor pen 16. Um, let's go. Let's make it. Should we get some more fancy looking ones, though? You guys have got the general gist about how these... Uh, I mean, they did have a bit more damage to them, didn't they? So these ones are damage 10 instead. The Namidian ones look quite cool. Pictish. Terranians. Oh, they look lo really awesome and sharp. These Pictish ones have got these fancy designs on them. I quite like that. Although the Namidian ones I didn't think had ponyards. So I wonder if that's some new content they've added. Blood letter sounds cool, doesn't it? Let's make these ones. I've never seen these before. Okay, I'm going to make a new set of daggers. Even though they've got a base 10 instead of 11, we'll see what the numbers come out like. It's not going to matter that much with iron, I don't think. So this has now got 11, 13, sorry, base damage compared to our previous upgraded one of 12, and it's got armor pen of 17. Uh, durability 391 and a half and a weight of 236 so it's lighter and way more durability 391 and a half okay we also lowered that from the base 300 okay wow okay <laughs> that's cool um let's give this guy some uh nice clothing to remember his time with the defari by sure he'll be happy about that <laughs> <laughs> wow okay cool uh we got some bits and bobs don't really need that i'm gonna get rid of a lot of these things cloth pouch okay oh we've got an effigy doll that's awesome so that's got we got an explosive guardian head that's amazing demon blood i've got to put all these things away we got all these horns uh, yeah. We've got some more uh, clothing we can give you. That loincloth's a little bit over the top in it. Do you want a skirt instead, buddy? <laughs> uh, okay, awesome. Right, armor's table. We've got some spare clothing. Let's put that in there. Defari skins, yep. This is just so we can uh, dress up our our peeps. Get that stack. All right, fantastic. Cool. So, um, I think we can go and have a look for uh, for the sorcery. Oh, we got to go and rescue. Uh, not rescue. Got to go and bring back. Uh, red shirt, right? It wouldn't be fair for red shirt to die just because I never went back to get him. Uh, but let's put down our new banner that we've got from these guys. That looks kind of cool. Neat. All right, what else we got? Oh, we got a crocodile head. <laughs> what are we gonna do with that? Random junk box. All right, let's go. I'll go rescue red shirt. And we'll reconvene at the next encampment. I'm going to go do this one just because it's fun and dangerous and exciting. Back soon.
All right, we've got our new daggers. Don't they look fancy. I like them. We've also picked up Red Shirt. He was having a staring competition with one of the locals. Uh, and we're on our way to the next question mark area to look for another cage. However, we've stumbled across Come this small camp. So, uh, yeah, let's have at it. Come on, guys. Two archers, you say? That's rude. Oopsie. Ow. Ow? Really, ow? Get him, Neville. I mean, wait, Neville's dead. Why do I keep calling him Neville now? Red shirt. Who <laughs> would call him Red shirt Neville in honor of Neville? <laughs> Poor Neville. Uh, okay, simple repair kit. Some more, some more clothing. How many arrows have I got? Um, okay, we'll grab some more bone arrows. Nice. All right, what did you have on you, good sir, that we could borrow? Some more greaves, some more arrows. Okay, I don't really need that. <clears throat> Anything to interact? Well, there is something to interact with here, but what? Sometimes difficult to see. Um, okay, 12 wind chimes. That's a bit over the top. I will take your jog, though. Nice jogs, the Defari people. So you've got some braces. Oh, you got some feathers. I'll have those. Okay. All right, not bad. There's something here. I think it might be this drum. Or what is it? There's something to interact with, it said. Or did I pick it up already? Maybe I did. Hmm, I don't see any foreign objects, though. Uh, e to interact. Unfortunately, this... This is one of the little nuances of the game where you can't... Oh, there it is. It's one of those cleavers again. We've got another yog cleaver. Okay, I've got, I've got two of those on me now. Yeah, don't need that. Okay. Right. Oh, there is uh, possibly a cook. Hello. Oh, you're a carpenter. Oh, I don't have a carpenter. Wait a minute. Let's take your weapon off you. Ow! Uh, why have I given you... Oh, I've got another iron truncheon. Okay. We don't have a carpenter yet, so... That's a level 3 carpenter as well. Oh, that's... Uh, yeah, that's amazeballs. I'll have that. You can have back your sword. Uh, Alright. Another quick intermission, folks. I'm going to grab this carpenter and run him home. And we'll be right back with you. Oh, these uh, things are about to break, so we'll use this other one. Right, back soon. All right, red shirt, listen up. Clap, clap, pay attention. We're going to go over to that camp over there. That one. It's going to be a real mess. But we're going to see what we find. And you and I are both going to come out of this, maybe a little scraped and banged up. But we're going to do just fine, all right? I don't want any of that napping. All right, let's do this. <laughs> let's get my uh, bow. Where's my bow? Here we go. Let's see if we can't agitate a few. I don't know this camp. Uh, certainly not well. So uh, we're going to see what happens here. I don't know where they have scouts and things. <clears throat> But what's the worst that can happen? Also, we're going to try and learn from last time's calamity. And uh, if we do clear it... Oh, just missed, eh? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Got him. Oh, he, he moved at the last moment. What a badger. Maybe I'll take this uh, static person out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here she comes. Okay. Fighter level two, all right. Stabby, stabby McStab face. Oh, he's getting absolutely wasted here. Come on, come on, Grumbles, do your bit. Come on, stab. Oh, my. <laughs> this is a good start. Off to a great start. All right. Uh, what have you got? A navigation chart and a light turban. Okay. 
What does this do? Is this just, this is treasure. <gasps> oh my goodness. We're going to need that treasure coffer. All right. Bone broth and an etched note. What does that say? By the gods, they're going to eat me. The drums are beating in frenzied rhythm and the Defari savages are dancing around a pit of swirling flames. I've seen what happens to those who are cast into the pit. The screams are the searing heat consumes them. If you are, like me, a captive of these devils, then I can offer no comfort. But if you are a free man and can read these words, then I would ask a boon of you. Salacio of the Black Hand pretended to be my friend and then traded me to these savages for animal hides. He needed my skills as a scribe to write down directions to the place where he keeps his treasures, lest he forget the path. But then, because of my knowledge of his hiding place, he sold me to the Defari. But I prepared for this eventuality. I wrote his instructions down correct incorrectly. If you find him, kill him. Do not offer quarter or mercy. Take his instructions by way of thanks. But remember that for every step I wrote, I took two. Oh, that's cool. All right, awesome. Uh, let's see, you've got medium tacit, which is um, 42 armor value. And these trousers we just got are light eight value okay good we keep those on then all right off to a great start arguably very very questionably headshot oh this guy seems to be stuck good we will take advantage of this bug and we will kill him Oh, this seems a little bit unfair, but uh, I guess it's just like killing an AFK in any other game. Down you go. <laughs> I might run out of arrows at this rate. All right, let's go knives out just in case. Get ready for the next fight. This is where you need a save point. Oh, that's a big tent. Okay, we'll take that. We've got pocket spaces for now. Scavenger's birth. I say we go, we go this side. Oh, I fell off the edge. That's not helpful. Oh, we've got a, uh, got a sticky stick. Oh, they're quite tough. They're all tier twos. Ow. No, 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 no. Why? Oh, my neck. I'm having a hard time managing my stamina. Take you. This ain't gonna take long for old red shirt to go down, is it? Okay, that's good. We got some good hits off there. Oh, I put my weapons away. That's uh, that's always a good one. Healing pot. Oh, roll, roll, roll! Oh my goodness! Stabby, stabby, mate. I guess it doesn't help that I'm always going with the heavy hit. Okay, he should bleed out. He's got a shield, that's annoying. Okay, backstabby, mate. Down you go, yes. Ow! No fair from the backfield. Taxi Derm retired and a cutlass. Okay, interesting. Alright, backstab. Yeah, Singarin Archer too. Okay, you you would actually be, make a much better red shirt. But we're not here to gather nobodies. Oh, who's this fella? Hernan the Fletcher. Oh, he's a named guy as well. What the heck? Okay, we've got to see if we can. I don't want to capture him though. Red shirt is down. Oh. Do I want that guy? And how much do I want that guy? Is it worth the hassle of another run back to base? Not really. We're here to kill. Okay, I feel silly, but we're gonna kill him. Turn in the Fletcher. Get back up, son. Back in the fight. Get you healed up. Okay, come on, Mr. Fletcher. Yeah, not so tough now, are you, buddy, when you're stuck in the corner like that? Hugging out. <laughs> Down he goes. 
Uh, I will take that iron pike though, that looks cool. Armor repair kit, some boots, some gauntlets, another apron. Okay, some more stuff for our people to wear back home. Okay, what's in your box? What's in the box? Oh, 28 gold coins! Are you kidding me? A rare gemstone and a black hand banner. Oh, that's amazing. All right, nothing to learn from you though, sadly. I bet that guy's brilliant. Someone's going to leave a comment saying, no, never kill that guy. He's brilliant. <clears throat> All right, we're healed up. Red shirt's healed up. We need to get him some more food, but 28 gold coins. We talked about that before and now we've got them. Beautiful. All right. Uh, by the way, the last level up, I put some more into grit. We're going to go for the next perk, which is endurance. Your stamina regenerates 25% faster because we are really struggling with stamina. Five silver coins and another rare gemstone. Fantastic. All right, let's see who else is left around these parts. I think there's going to be another jailer in that here, but I don't know for sure. I do vaguely re remember this place. She can't bleed out now. Oof, nice kill. Good job, Richard. Rare gemstone armor repair kit. Nice. Ooh, a cleaver. You found a steel cleaver. Oh, that's nice. Free upgrade from some of my one of my tools. Steel cleaver, fantastic. Uh, right. Who who are you? I'm gonna sneak up on you, and you're a fighter, level three. Oh, you would be a great red shirt. All right. Sticks, where did they all come from? Six million of them all at once. Watch your flanks. Farin of the Wild Coast, you sound like you'd be really good as well. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're all, oh, they're murderizing him. Red shirt's down again. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't help. Pressing that button just definitely is not a help in my quest to stay alive. Okay, keep running and moving, running and moving. Stabby, stabby, McStab face. Roll. <laughs> Back away, smile and wave. This one down. Oof. Come on, buddy. I got you. I'm quicker than you are, man. Yes. Down you go. Rare gemstone. Red one that time. What have you got for me? Some paints. Some aloe. Okay, I'll drink one of those. Perfect. Okay, let's get red shirt back up. Get back in the fight, soldier. Oh, we got absolutely butchered there because we got surrounded. I'm surprised I stayed up. <laughs> what have you got on you, buddy? A uh, black hand vest and an iron broadsword. Uh, let's see. 14 damage. So your other weapon is still better, that foul cutter. Okay. Oh, I got a... Ooh! We found some desert wine. Nice. Hey, buddy. Nasty. How about... Uh, no. How about just no, and without 600 million other people around you, you're not so top. Ha. Get wrecked. Light wrap, light rip, supply materials, bearer pack. Okay, I'm gonna, if I open those now, it's the same as before. It's going to go from five kilos in my pocket to like a bazillion. So not a good idea. Mm, we'll take some more free armors though. Iron war axe, 22 damage. Yeah, not that, not that impressive. What we've got now. All right, we're getting through this camp quite well though. Uh, three training dummies. <gasps> Guards for our, uh, for our place. Iron mace. Okay. 24%. The mace is really good for smashing their armor. 
free candle, free uh, thingamajig. Okay, I'm gonna split that out. We're gonna. How heavy are these? Oh, they're not that heavy. Okay, we'll keep them. All right, we can put some guards. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's that's. That's an awful lot of people. Or you, Archer. No. I said no. He should really have switched to melee by this point. Hello? Can we kill him? Okay, finally. Okay, let's go help Redshirt out. That's not very nice archery from the back of the map, you know, silly sniper. How about stabby stabby from the back there? Ooh, fatality! Oof. Medium cap, that's nice. Oh, and a cutlass. Is that, I wonder if that cutlass is better. All right, rare gemstone. We're getting lots of treasure. So again, he's got 30. The cutlass is 20. Okay, so he's still better with that foul cutter. We got really lucky with that weapon for him. Okay, so I'm kind of expecting... I'm not even in the right place. We're supposed to be up there. <laughs> Genius. All right, well... Well, it was pra good practice. Weapon repair kit etched no. Okay. It was good practice. Well, we cleared that camp out. Not even in the right place. All right. Uh, how do we get through? We're gonna go oh, up there. Okay. Whoopsie. Okay, we're good. We got a fight fatality buff. Let's take it out on this guy. Hello. Yeah, these are more feisty. But I think with that new steel cleaver, we might be able to get some better, uh, better food out of that. Let's have a look. Let's have a test. Number four. Gives us a head. Oh, just savory flesh. Oh, no, look. It's exquisite meat. There you go. Not much, but a little. A little bit of exquisite meat. Okay, I think there's a camp up here. We can see a head on a stick. Are you good to go, buddy? What's your... Uh, are you on your third and out? Oh, no. Are we about to lose? Finally lose? Red shirt. This might be it. This might be the camp <clears throat> that we lose red shirt in. Any bad guys up here? Oh, goodness me, that scared the heck out of me. What? Oh, this is my first ever red crystalline uh, uh, rock nose. What the heck? I never... Uh, we never found one of these before. That's fantastic. You see, it's got these red gems in it. We use the, that. I think they're called blood crystals. And that allows us to maybe make a golem. Or golem. Depending how you want to say that. See how my weapon's not doing much here? Because we really need something that does like a mace kind of damage. Let's take this. This is a strength weapon though. So you see how that puts a little broken shield there? That means his armor is sundered. And that means all the weapons can do more damage to him. Oh my goodness. Blood crystal rock knows. Never have I ever. I don't know what I, uh, I guess a pick, right? That would make sense. Yeah, it's given us blood crystal. Never had that before. Oh, that's amazeballs. Now all we've got to do is not die horribly in this fight. I've just realized how badly damaged my weapons are. Weapon repair kit. So we're going to lose durability from this, but at least we can get the weapon back in good order. Our armor is okay. It's like half, so. Okay. I, ooh, man, I don't want to lose these blood crystals. That is amazeballs and all these gems. Wow. i get rid of that. Wow. That is, uh, that really is amazeballs. I'm going to get rid of that. It's too heavy. Just anything that we don't. I'm a bit worried because my over in cucumber i'm very close to the limit um okay oh is it gonna be night or is it a sandstorm oh 
Oh no, I think it's a sandstorm, but we're all the way out here. Okay. So here's a good way to demonstrate getting some shelter. Hopefully we can get shelter over here. That's good because we talked about that in the first episode. You see the little housey icon there at the top? That means we're... Uh, well, now we're 60% sheltered. Oh, now we have zero shelter and then 60% shelter. I don't think 60% is enough to save us from injury. Oh, okay. Here we've got 60% standing. So what we could do is if we gathered up some stone and wood and whatever, we could just put a little foundation and a, a wall and a ceiling or something like that and give us a bit more protection. <clears throat> well, we're just going to have to see if we can uh, if we can make it like this, man. Okay, I think we're on the periphery of it, so it's kind of rolled through already. That's fantastic. All right, let's go fight. Let's go fight. I didn't know there was going to be that rock nose there. That was a real surprise. So, have we got any we could kill from from up here? Oh, fudge. Not like that. We can't. I am a better archer than you. Good sir. Down you go. There's one. Where's the other guy gone? He's not coming up the hill yet. Let's see if we can get an angle on him from over here somewhere. Oh, oh, never mind. Oi, oi, oi. Don't fall off the hill. <clears throat> okay, we got her. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes again. All right. This camp doesn't seem as deadly as the other one, but I could be calling that too early. Ow. Ow, he's hitting me for 69. The jokes write themselves. Oh, oh, here comes the jailer. No, I don't want that target lock system. I, I, I dislike that. I don't know what button I pressed to turn that on now. Okay, we got the jailer. And red shirt went down. Good job, red shirt. Ow, 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 ow. Cheeky. Can't shoot me through that tree, can you? Huh? Wait, is he? He's dead, dead now. Oh no, we lost Redshirt after all this time together. The great journey. Oh. There's a lot of red shirts here we could pick up in their place. <laughs> Just saying. I'm just saying. Is he, he's dead dead, so I need to get the armor and everything back. Where is he? Where did he go down like a sack of sods? Hang on, let's heal up in case there's one more here sneaking around. <clears throat> red shirt. Red shirt. You're not red shirt. Red shirt? Oh no, did he... Did he evaporate already? Red shirt. See this pile of bones? No. Oh man, I wanted to get... Oh wait, what did we have in his pocket? I wanted to get that weapon and his armor back. What? That's stingy. The body should be here. I should be able to recover his armor. How does that... Uh, that's not fair. I wonder if that's a bug. Normally, when they die, they're on the ground. And then you should be able to just... Uh, you know, pick up their... There's stuff again, but at least we don't have to learn the lesson about moving our people around again because we don't have another one that's in the way. I was gonna, I was so proud of myself. I was gonna show you that I'd learned the lesson from before and actually move Red Shirt out of the way. Please be an innkeeper. Please be an innkeeper. Are you an innkeeper? Chimerian Exile 3. Okay. Uh, all right. 
Well, so you're red shirt, but like level three. Okay. Welcome aboard, red shirt. I normally, I would say I'd have some armor for you. I do have a little bit of armor in my pocket, actually. It didn't automatically give me the other guy's armor. No. I must eat soon. Oh, wait. Uh, let's have some bone broth then. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we'll give you this cutlass. It's not as good as the other thing, but it's a start. I could give you this iron pike, actually. It's a pain when they use those heavy weapons. Um, on me. Mm, don't need those. Um, all right. Let's, uh, well, let's get you some armor then. Medium cap. Light wraps. You've only got light armor, unfortunately, but it's better than nothing. Uh, and a leather apron, so... Wait, there's probably some better. There we go, that's probably better. 73. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> get you dressed up in some of those clothes then at least. Alright, we'll have to make some more medium armor. Wow, I really feel like I got stiffed by the game there. Unless I'm looking in the wrong place. There's probably people watching, screaming at the thing, saying it's over there. Uh oh, that's crocodiles. Um, all right. Well, there you go. We've just upgraded Red Shirt. The spirit of Red Shirt lives on. Oh. That's uh, that's very, very unfortunate. I, I was expecting to be able to get his armor back, as I said. Okay, I just want to make sure there's nothing to learn here, like no sneaky books or, or anything. Okay, let's take a, a banner then. What the heck? There we go. Get some extra decorations for the camp. Okay, well, there's our second uh, cage shenanigans sorted out. Yeah, so poor old, uh, poor old red shirt is no more. And now we have, we've gone from red shirt one to red shirt three. Red shirt three. Which red sh Oopsie. Nobody saw that, that typo. Red shirt three. There you go. Um, I guess I could give you honeyed gruel. Well, you like enhanced gruel, but not honeyed gruel. Hmm. Well, it's kind of what I got for now. I'll give you some grilled steaks instead then. Okay, defensive. Not very long chase parameters. Good. Okay, let's go. All right, I will, uh, in fact, we can, I suppose, continue the journey. But I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get a little bit of brimstone and coal from around here so that we're not doing too much repetition. And I'm going to go over to the sorcery cave and we're going to get ourselves into some uh, sorcery shenanigans. Let's do that. Let's go. Oh, what's this? A cavern of sorts. And a curious ghostly lady leading me into it. What could possibly go wrong down here? Hmm. Galaman's tomb? I have no idea. But this is where we're going to find some brimstone. Ah, there it is. That lighter colored rock there. Let's grab this. All right, nice. Let's see what's uh, down here. I I don't know if I've been in this one. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. This is really exciting. Oh, salamanders down there in the water. Okay, I think I have been in this one. Oh, crocodiles. Okay, here they come. Now, how bad are these? Okay, just normal crocodiles. Just a lot of them. remember that our follower, our new red shirt, only has uh, light armor. So we have to be careful with that. Nice. Okay. Good job. Good job. What's your health looking like now? 259. Good. He's leveling up nicely. He's nearly out of food though. I'm going to give him that food as well. See if he'll eat that. Okay. Let's get some more brimstone. This is awesome. I've never been... Uh, well, I may have been in this one before, but I don't remember it. 
Is this a... Uh... No, that's nothing. Alright, let's have a look around. Gallerman's tomb. Look at these. This looks amazeballs. I want to get those... Uh... Are you a normal croc? You're a normal croc. Okay, I'll fight you. How's it keep hitting me? Son of a biscuit. Right, we continue on. What is that? Okay, I suspect there might be like a boss in here. <laughs> or at least a bigger crocodile. Okay. We didn't get that much brimstone. Oh, that is that is a way bigger crocodile. What the heck? Oh, this is a bad idea. Being in here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, a hyena uh, chappy. That's rude. All right, I will take your fangs and your pack. Excellent. Throw that map away. We're getting a lot of those. Um, this is, this is probably a really bad idea. Let's take these other crocs on first though. Get the minions away. Okay, we're doing well against those guys, but these guys are like literally little minions. Okay, uh oh, uh oh, we got him, we got him. Let's see what our bow does. I got no ammo. Oh. <laughs> okay, he's got one skull. How, uh, how bad can it be? Ow, oh, it's really bad. Ow, oh, it's really bad. Does he just spawn more in? Hang in there, buddy. Oh God, he's down already. Hello? Can we hit the guy? Okay, got him. Get back in the fight, bud. Are you... are you... are you... Okay, I did too quickly. Okay. Um... I really got no more arrows left at all. Oh my god, okay. I reckon we can take this guy if he doesn't spawn in more... more, uh... Oh, 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 And if he's not impossible to hit like that. Hello? Wow, this guy's got a really weird... Uh... What are you doing? Why are you not fighting with me? Ten stacks of bleed. <laughs> Rancher is down. But I got ten stacks of bleed on the big fella. Hello? Can I... Can I... Can he not go back and fully heal, please? Can we, we're still fighting here. Roll or something. Oh, man. I need this, this stamina buff so desperately. Ow, that's not fair. No. Don't die in the cavern. Have another oh I've got no more healing potions left. What the heck? Oh Get up! Get up! Get back in the fight as a distraction. I mean I mean as a very capable companion. That's not fair! It's got such a stupid action. Ow! Oh we're, we're in huge trouble. We don't have any. Stuffs and things. Look, leave me alone. I I, reg <laughs> I regret my life decisions. Can I make weak aloe potion? 
No, because I got no aloes on me. Oh my god, this is awful. He's gonna fully heal by now, isn't he? Get back in the fight. No, I'm not ordering him to move. I'm ordering him to fight. Oh, I'm cold. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going to come back here when we've got some heavy armor. Come on, buddy. Stop. No, let's not stop following. Come on, follow. Let's go. We got what we came for. We got the brimstone. Oh, we're going to leave with the brimstone and our lives. Oh, okay. Okay. This is an exciting... Uh, thing to come and do. I, I did not know of this. Excellent. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to go home. We're going to drop the brimstone off. Uh, and especially we're going to drop off this blood crystal because I've, as I said, I've never had that before. So I'm super excited. Maybe we can make our first ever golem. First one I've ever made. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> we got our butts handed to us by giant angry crocodile hashtag cheating. Okay. So whatever the young lady is telling us, there was a door there. So I guess that's the entrance to the tomb. Yeah. Let's go home and get some better armor. We might have been able to do okay if he'd had his medium armor on, maybe. Um, but we really need to find some thicker skinned creatures and get ourselves into some... Uh... Okay, this is, this is, I'm just taking it out on you. I'm taking my frustrations from that tomb out on you. I'm sorry. But this is the way it's got to be. Okay. You started it. <laughs> All right, look, I was just, I was just in your mum's tomb. Oh, I gained a level. Nice. Okay. Let's keep going. More grit. We're nearly there. A couple more points, a couple of three points and we're good. Hello. Crocodile is silly. Let's go. All right, this is pretty exciting. So I thought I'd uh, interject and add it in. Uh, I just opened up that supply uh, crate that we picked up from those uh, one of those camps we took out, and in it was one thousand were one thousand Highland berry bush seeds. That's pretty cool in and of itself, anyway. But even more, five hundred steel bars. That's the luckiest supply drop thing I've ever had. So we we're already getting to the point where we we're going to start learning about making steel. And we just got 500 bars. That's redonkulous luck. Okay, so we'll put those in there. We can now make the steel reinforcements for tier 3 uh, buildings. But as you see, we don't have any recipes that are really going to use um, steel because we, we haven't got to level 30 yet. So having 500 steel bars all of a sudden. Oh, I was impressed enough by getting the steel cleaver, let alone uh, let alone that. But there you go. Oh, look, we've got another foul cutter here in uh, reserve. So I was lucky we held on to that. That's excellent. Um, all right, so let's give that to, uh, to old red shirt three. Swap that for that. That makes you deadlier. Nice. All right. Um... We also got back with the blood crystal, so eight of those, and we had 32 gold coin extra, bringing us to a total of 34. We got some more fangs, gnarled fangs to hand in at that special event. Uh, yeah, so we're looking good, even though we lost uh, red shirt one. Now, the other thing is we picked up a bunch of these rare gemstones and these navigation charts and just a bunch of stuff. Um, and these count as treasure and treasure was added in during the age of war, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and we need to build a treasure chest. So that's 15 shaped wood and five iron reinforcements. 
Oh no, actually that's in here, the treasure. Sorry, my bad. Uh, oh, the same difference, same difference. So, standard treasure coffer and we got this fancy one. I don't know which one... Whether that... I think only this one counts towards the actual uh, treasure mechanic. So we got we need a bunch more of these. It was five, right? We need one more actually. So let's make one more of those. Boom. Um and then some shaped wood. Boom. <clears throat> and then in our house actually we're gonna put Oh I did put a throw pot down to feed them from, by the way. Just so you know what that looks like there. And it's really cool because since this Age of Heroes, they actually walk over to it. And help themselves to a serving of gruel from the pot and stand there eating it. That's pretty damn cool, I think. Um, okay, so... Uh, yes. Number seven. Treasure. Treasure coffer. Wait, oh, I needed five of those things. Oh, silly, silly. Alright. Uh, so, one more of those, please. Good, sir. Oop. My goodness. Okay. So now we should have enough. We go treasure, treasure chests. And this comes with a little guy that looks after our treasure. So we'll put him here in this uh, by the front door. Who doesn't keep their treasure chest right by the front door? And by a window where you could re lean through and grab it. Um, but this guy, I always call him Jeffrey. And Jeffrey looks after all my... Uh, my guilds and things. So if we click on him on the on the NPC, you get a summary of your treasures and everything. And then from here, this is the new purge mechanic that came in Age of War as well, I believe. <laughs> you get to tr uh, trigger the purge if you want. So purges have become optional. Uh, if you're brand new and you're thinking, what's a purge? A purge is basically a raid on your base where other some other tribes uh, try to literally purge you from land to eradicate you. Um, and the way it works now is it's based on the amount of treasure you have and therefore the threat that's posed to your base. We can put our silver coins in there and our gold coins. So I'll go and get them. I'm um, just looking if any of these look like they might be treasure items. Don't think so. No, that's a decoration. Um, okay, let me go get my treasure coin, uh, my gold coins and put them in there. Um, yeah, at some point we will do the purge. Oh, we've got this effigy doll as well. Uh, which we picked up earlier was also uh, a bit of treasure. All right. Awesome. Let's put the gold coin in there and then I can show you what Jeffrey thinks the sum total of our evaluated treasure is. So we click on him now. Look, navigation chart two, value of 10 each, 20. Rare gemstones, bunch of different ones, three of those. Uh, silver coin, five. Not worth much. Gold coin is worth one each, so we've got another 34. So we've got a total coffer value of 304.5. Purge is available, threat level one. So we could proclaim our wealth um, and take the threat. I'm not sure what exchange treasure does, but I'm guessing it might exchange these into the coin, gold coin equivalent possibly but i'm not going to click that right now because i don't know what happened uh anyway we're not going to do the purge right now but i think that that's a pretty fun kind of mechanic and uh possibility uh that we can look at soon tm all right good onwards i will now make some uh more aloe <laughs> i shall just take these 10 here uh but i will i will actually make some more and I will also uh, make some armor uh, for our buddy. Uh, we also unlocked something called the dismantling bench, which is here. 50 insulated wood and 100 bricks. Um, and what that does is, as the name suggests, you just put things you don't want, um, like armors that you collect that you don't need or anything that's taking up your storage. You just shove it in there. And most items, not absolutely everything, but most items in the game um, can then be dismantled and you will get a I think it's a, a percentage or I don't know what the numbers are but you get an amount of resources back so it might not be all that good but you know if you get a couple of steel bars back from some weapon that you've collected that you don't need 
That's a couple of steel bars that you don't need to uh, graft for, right? So, okay, I'm going to um, work towards putting that dismantling bench in place, and we'll show you the basics of that. Um, and then we're going to go off and... Uh, I think we're going to go and... We might... I don't wonder. It would be a very dangerous trek. But we could go and have a look at this... Uh, where was that place we needed to go to? Oh, it's all the way up there. That's a long way. I think we might just go and get our sorcery. All right, back soon. Alrighty, I have put together the dismantling bench. Here we go. And uh, yeah, let's give you some examples. We take this black hand vest light armor that we got underway. It goes into the crafting queue. And after a short bit of processing, we get six pieces of leather back. There you go, not bad. And these are all pick-me-ups that we got along the way. So I'm going to just... Uh, double click some of these things and they go into a queue it'll eventually increase and then decrease back down once we're uh, good again and you'll see we'll get a whole bunch of materials i'm going to get rid of some of the weapons we had earlier uh, that we're not using some of the light armors that are not much use to us either um yeah decorative items that we're not going to use old truncheons um i've even got two rawhide uh bedrolls here that I don't need both so we get rid of those and look look at the results 30 iron bars already from some of that 19 leather some branches some twine some bones some plant fiber so obviously it, it varies some bits are more valuable to reclaim than others um, but not bad though <clears throat> and all that just for mostly looting um, plus they don't take up all of our storage anymore so definitely once you've got access to this dismantling bench uh well worth uh putting that into play uh all right we did also level up a little bit in our travels back so we're getting there with the grit we need i think two more points for the uh for the next level which will get us a stamina regeneration 25 percent buff which i think is going to be really really handy for us uh we have 12 points available we're at level 24 uh, so we unlocked the dismantling bench. Uh, we've unlocked the journeyman mason stair maker. So that unlocks the stairs, but also the roof pieces, which will look nicer uh, for our roof once we get into that. Um, and so far, I think everything else we've already presented. Level 20, next level, we get the die maker unlocked. And at level 30, that's when business really picks up because we get master blacksmith, master carpenter, uh, master tanner, the potion maker, uh, and excitingly the steel tools unlocked so we'll be able to uh, start progressing forward at level 28 we also get the fluid press which is going to be pretty handy too um, we could probably make a fish trap as well I forgot about that and the stove unlocks at level 29 so we can do some better uh, and more interesting cooking and go looking for some recipes but for now I've upgraded the armor on red shirt 3 I think we're gonna go or I know we're gonna go we're gonna go to the sorcery cave and we're going to pick up the sorcery track uh we got the sorcerer's map so we know it's up here uh along that river and off to the left hand side so uh let's go get it let's go get the sorcery Spoosh. and i think that's where we're going to wrap this episode two up so hopefully again it's been uh entertaining and also uh, continuing with the promise of being beginner friendly I hope that I'm managing to uh, not spoil too many things uh, and not use too much prior knowledge uh, within reason um, and that uh, this has been useful to you if you're a new player or a returning player or I haven't played especially in the uh, last couple of updates uh, might be some things that you can pick up from this uh, let us know in the comments how are you getting on with it and uh what you'd maybe like to see more of or less of. I'm happy for all the feedback. Doesn't mean I'll necessarily be able to change it. Oh, here's a little mini boss. Uh, a demonic uh, shale bag. Ow, that nearly hit me. How's Red Shirt holding up? He's holding up well. Oh, we gained another level. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, let's cut this guy out with our hatchet because we probably can get some more demon blood. Again, at this point, I'm not quite sure what we're going to use that for, but hey, it's something special and weird and spooky. 
So let's get it. We also cooked up that exquisite meat that we had earlier. Um, doesn't give us any buffs at this point because it's just cooked on the campfire, but anyway. Uh, there we go. We're at grit nine. One more grit to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can now unlock the water well. That's neat. That always looks nice around the camp. Uh, we can unlock the journeyman roof maker for more complex roofing pieces. Excellent. That's very nice. We might be due a base upgrade between episodes. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, we can unlock die maker, uh, which might not be interesting for a lot of folks, but I quite like it. You got the wall paints and things and yeah, we'll have a little look at that somewhere along the line too. Um, we haven't got into tinkering and all that. I don't want to go in that direction just yet. Uh, let's see. There's no more. We can unlock a blunted javelin for knocking the folks out from further away. That could be handy. Um, don't know if these bows are actually better. Oh, there's iron arrows for more damage, but yeah. Okay, I'll do for now. Let's go. No more side quests. No more distractions. Sorcery or bust. Uh oh, I think this guy's going to want to fight us. Uh, okay, come, come on then. Do your little leap. Oh, he's still gone. What a bonobo. What a bonobo. Sorry, little fellers. All right, we've got this camp up here. This was on our little uh, iron run. So we know about this. We got this. We got a few crocodiles. We want to be on the other side anyway, so maybe we'll cross over early. See something different. There we go. So I did repair all of my tools back at the uh, blacksmith and the armorer's bench. I didn't repair my armor because it's still holding up okay. Uh, and again, we don't have enough thick hide to make the heavy armor, but we'll probably switch to that at some point because, you know, actually with an agility build, you probably want to be medium. I don't know, but it depends on your play style and I'm a bit clumsy. You know, you've seen enough by now to, to recognize that I'm clumsy. So medium's probably a good okay for me and heavy is probably where it's at because I just get beat up too much. Now, as we progress through the game, we'll unlock... In fact, we already unlocked one, the Skelos Cult Master. Skelos uh, Cult Master armor. Unfortunately, that's really quite high tier for me um, at this point. So we're nowhere near making that. But there are, like, even that, that's a light armor. But it's got really high numbers to it, like 400 for a piece and stuff. So it's not all about, like, light, medium, heavy. Um, only at this stage of the game early on, where we can't make anything too, too fancy schmancy. Are they coming or are they not coming? Here they come, alright. Oh wow, okay, he's doing good. So we've got him on the medium armor now, so he's not taking too much damage. We want to go around this way to where that cave is, I think. I'm not sure if we can get to it from this side, actually. Maybe we have to go up and over. Oh yeah, he does a good job. Uh, oh no, okay, it looks like there might be maybe a little bit of climbing. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> but yeah, once we get to that magical level 30 in the steel tools, we're going to uh, get ourselves a big old buff in terms of our damage output. Um, but still, it means that we have to be careful we're still working slowly our way. Okay, so I think we do have to kind of go the other side up to that point okay interesting um there's another camp up here this got a kind of a tough guy in the middle of it as well uh anybody in fact i'm going to do that on this one as well but yeah i'll probably get my uh bot handed to me up here as well if i hung around too long but maybe not maybe with this guy with that like, red shirt upgrade we're gonna do okay now um, I did pick up some extra food for him. I think I get yeah, I gave him a stack of a hundred gruel. So who'd be doing? How's his health now, by the way? Three three five. Okay, not bad, not bad. I think he's where the other guy was. Um, all right, we can have a fight with these. We'll try not to take them all at once. <clears throat> oh fudge! Completely fluff that entrance. Oh, I did the, the targeting thing again. I think that's the Q key. Uh-oh, look out. Oh, yeah, we're way better armed this time. 
So you guys are getting owned. Hiding behind that rock's not going to save you, buddy. Very good. Very good. Oh, prayer to York. Okay, that's... Ow! What the heck? Maybe it's not all that bad using this locked target thing. But, yeah, I don't like it when I've got to spin around or change targets. A mess. Are you the big guy? You know, are you just a fighter? Oh, look at that. We handled those, those folks pretty well. What's he got there? Shellback hatchling shell? Oh my goodness. Some supply materials. Okay. Uh, okay, don't want any of that. Okay, awesome. He's doing really well. Actually, let's have a health potion while we're thinking about it. Okay, you're down. Wow, good job. What a difference Red Shirt 3 is making. Oh, let's have a Defari mask. I like that. Okay, awesome. Well, we absolutely kicked their uh, butts there. Nice. Good job, buddy. Good job. Ostrich egg? What the heck? <clears throat> a pet item. Oh, I'd never seen that before. Okay, rhino hide. That's going to give us thick hide. That's handy. Not interested in the other stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, this is uh, turning out to be quite fortuitous. Coincidental stop. I'm always paranoid that I'm missing something that I could collect. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, back to the... Uh, back to what we were doing. Let's make sure there's no one hiding out over here. Some more weathered skull survival kit. What on earth is that? Earthenware jug, wind chimes. Okay. Interesting. What what is survival kit? Oh, bedroll. Other bedroll. Okay, so loads of That's fascinating. Is this treasure? This is treasure. Tooth necklace. Nice. Prayer to Yog. Oh, we learned new prayers. Emotes. Yes. Oh, I love that. Where's the uh, worship? Celebrate worship. Neil, pray, pray to Yog. Gods by Yog. Take Gods take you. Oh, how cool is that? Okay, do you see that cave over there? That's where we're going. Let's go get our sorcery. Now, I did say, uh, I think earlier, or it might be in episode one, I was going to kind of cheese it and run through the back. But with Red Shirt 3, I think we're going to try and fight our way through against the corrupted shellbacks. We're going to test that with the fight at the doorway with the first one. And uh, yeah, if it if it looks no bueno, we're going to backpedal and we're going to leave it. But if we take down the first shell back comfortably... Oh, hello. hello Christmas. They always hit me. That, that's what red shirt's there for to be hit. Unbelievable. All right. Where is the cave entrance? Here. Okay, so there's corruption in there. So we don't want to dilly-dally too much. Corruption will basically take down your maximum health and your maximum stamina. So you have to be very careful. Okay, he took that hit really well. I think these are corrupted. They probably don't uh, bleed. Kind of like undead. Yeah. Okay, so we're able to f fight these fairly well. Um, but well, especially when they get stuck in the door like that. That makes them exceedingly easy to fight. They give us bone and putrid meat and a demonic shell back head. Okay, cool. Nice. That'll look nice on the wall, won't it? <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, let's see... Who, how far we want to fight these guys or just run past them. But the problem is that with my companion dude, I could either leave him out front and run past them all. 
Yeah, or we're going to fight them all. Let's see, we can draw two of them instead of three. That's not bad. Okay, I'm trying to use my backstab. Because I'm assuming that that's doing better for us anyway, even if they don't bleed. This is kind of how it should be going. He's he's tanking for me. He's doing well with it. And uh, yeah, we're able to just double team him like that. We gained another level. Yes. Let's go. Grit plus pick uh, stamina. Increase your armor by one fifth of your current stamina. That's interesting. But I need more stamina. My stamina is always low, so having a buff to my armor based on my stamina doesn't feel like a good deal. All right, let's go. We got we got faster stamina regen now. Wonderful. All right, let's go, buddy. Hey, excuse me. Guy doesn't stand a chance. Wow, this is taking a lot of uh, durability off my iron weapon, as I just noticed. Redshirt 3 is brilliant. Look at him go. 385 health now. What a... Oh, he's so much better than Redshirt 1, a.k.a. Neville. Sorry, Neville. Okay, and at the back here, you find this place, the Cave of Karuk. Uh... And up on this table here, you find the basic knowledge of sorcery, including a word of power ice bridge and word of power reveal corruption. Uh, there's lots of other fancy things uh, to look at around here, but nothing to actually interact with. Uh, that's exciting. We'll learn about that later. However, uh, there is also a super secret... Uh, not really all that secret thing at the back here where if we get our staff out and we uh, left click to start the process of casting magic then we choose either this category part the veil of time and space to glimpse the past present and future that's where reveal corruption is or this one shape the forces of nature and reality itself we left click again on that and then we see we only have one spell summon a frozen bridge to traverse again so if we cast this, you'll see that we gain some corruption. There's some purple on the right-hand edge of our health bars and such. But it's worth it because we get over here and there's a bunch of chests with lots of really cool loot in them. And if we're super quick, we might be able to make it back across the same bridge. We'll take everything. Oh, there was a nice tool in there. Oh my goodness, there's a loot bag on the floor there with some really nice looking tools and I've not seen that before or I don't rec recollect it there you go there's no box over here oh there it is okay we grab that and then we get these two take that oh, I'm over cucumber no no it's a bad time to be over cucumber buddy can you carry something for me heaviest first take those steel bars and those elixirs and I don't know that head and You've got no more pocket space. Oh, let's see if we can make it with that before our spell expires. Quick, quick, quick. Oh. Cue the Benny Hill music. Oh, we made it. Oh, that's glorious. Okay, buddy. So let's let's have a look at what we won. We got a perfected steel battle axe. Are you kidding me? Perfected steel battle axe. That's amazeballs. Where's the... Uh, okay. So that does 35 damage. Zero shield smash with zero armor penetration. And this is 30. So I think his thingy might still be better. This one does 30 damage but 24 armor pen and smashes there. Okay. So I'm going to swap out that and give him this steel mace. Okay. That's cool. We got a pickaxe. Holy cow. That's a great tool. We got hardened steel hatchet as well. That's another amazing tool. We got a steel sickle. Wowzers. 
we got some really, really impressive stuff here. And again, we can use that dismantling bench. Um, and we can break down things we don't want later, right? Um, okay, I still need to sort out my encumbrance. So let's get rid of that putrid meat and that putrid meat. That's the starting point. A savory flesh is nothing special. We're exactly on 100 now. Okay, we can throw those hides away to get just below. Perfect. All right. So we've got him an armor upgrade. Elixir of freedom. That sounds amazing. Plus 21 stamina. You know what? I could just drink one now. Amazing. Okay. So uh, that is how you get your sorcery unlocked on the Exiled Lands map. Uh, with or without your man there. Uh, did he just fall off? I'm, I'm guessing he just fell off. Oh, here we go. We got one of these. Oh, nearly. Okay, so you see that broken shield symbol again? That's again the, uh, the Sunder. That means his armor is down. And other weapons like my blades that ordinarily wouldn't do that much damage to him can now do a lot more damage to that creature. So that's why I've given him the steel mace, because he can Sunder the enemy's armor, and then I can do more damage and continue to use my, uh, my daggers. Combos. There we go. Sundered armor. Nice. There we go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Surprised that those were there. These other ones haven't despawned. So, yeah, interesting. Anyway, let's get out of this cave. Oh, this way's back. Marvelous. You see how we're not running out of uh, stamina quite so badly now? We're still running out because it's just the way I fight. But <laughs> Okay, so that went really well. Excellent. I think that's going to be a perfect, uh, perfect way to uh, end this one. Where do you go? Where is, where, oh, there you are. Okay. When you hear that or whatever, that usually means your companions found their way back to you. All right, we're going up the, back down this side here. We came from the other way before. Is that another sandstorm? Oh, we might be in. Oh, we might be in much worse trouble. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what that light is? That's that. That's the place. I'm pretty sure that's lighting up that. Where we've got those fangs and everything to take with us. But we're not. We're not gonna. Come on. No more side quests. We've got to get to shelter now. This could be rough, actually. I've got 20% shelter. I've got 0% shelter. I've got 20%. I've got 80% shelter here. There we go. Oof. Oh, 20%. Let's stay in that, right in that corner. So this is what I mean. We're now caught in the sandstorm. Uh, we also have the light corruption, as you can see in the top left. And if you look at the health bar and the stamina bar, our maximums are significantly reduced right now but when we get home thankfully we already have zara our dancer and dancers are what we will use to remove corruption later on we're probably going to see about investing in some corruption points on purpose to really exaggerate some of our skills and perks however when we do that, I think we're going to want to move our uh, dancer somewhere more strategically out of the way so that she doesn't inadvertently get in the way of uh, what we're trying to achieve with our corruption. Because you need corruption and you gain corruption for... Well, you gain corruption by using sorcery and certain sorcerer's spells require a minimum amount of corruption as far as I understand it. So, yeah, it'd be good. Lots and lots more stuff to learn. Um, I believe the C corruption spell is is free to cast. Like there's no material component cost or whatever. Um, you need these burlap pouches for casting some of the other spells. And I think the higher level spells need bigger. You get a pouch, you get a bag, you get somewhere else. Like they get bigger scale or whatever. 
for the more powerful spells. This egg expires in 23 hours. We're going to put this in our animal pen and see what that's all about. Oh, they've got manual decoration there, a bunch of manuals. That's cool. We picked up some really cool things and we picked up a bunch of steel uh, weapons and whatnot as well So uh, uh, and tools so that we're not going to use. So we're going to be able to break those down as well. Okay. I just want to check. If I go to this category and then I click that one here, look, reveal nearby corrupted objects and those with arcane corruptions. This has no cost to it anymore. They changed it. So as you're going along, and I doubt we'll stumble into any, that would be a real happy uh, fluke, as it were. Um, but this would reveal, for example, if there was one of those... What was that noise? Um, if there was one of those blood crystal rock noses, um, it would, it would, for example, I believe... I don't. Again, I don't know because I've not experienced it fully, but I believe it would tell us... Um, oops, I didn't mean to. If you start casting a spell or whatever, or you go into the wrong category, just press the right mouse button and it takes you back to the to the previous one. And we gained another level. Oh, amazing. We're doing really well, considering like each bar goes higher and higher each time, obviously. Where is he? Oh, here they come. Yeah. Ooh, I like him with that steel mace. Oh, yes. That is really good. Look at Ace smashing his way through. This is how it should be. Okay, so now we have to decide. Are we going to keep investing in ourselves? Um, I like the quick-footed, so not the next perk, but the one after that. Uh, jogging, sprinting, jumping, swimming, and climbing costs less stamina and is faster. That sounds really cool. But I also want to invest in more authority because eventually we can increase our walk to a war party and have two followers with us. So I think I'm going to go towards the authority perk next and then we'll go back. So I keep, I know I'll probably keep changing my mind all the time. I hope that's not <laughs> too confusing. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's get home safely. We could do another quick iron run on the way home, but I'm also... Um, well, we're no, we're cucumbered out. We don't need that. Let's go. Homeward bound. Let's get you on guard. Put you on the door. No, not, not, not there, buddy. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Coming here to the dancer. And look at that. See that pulling away? So the stamina and the health bar is going back up. And, they, and she, Zara, has done a grand job and removed all of that corruption from us. Wonderful. All right, let's go see. Now that we've unlocked sorcery, uh, let's, let's go to our dismantling bench. Um, we're going to get rid of perfected steel battle axe, man. That sounds like it should be really good. Maybe we'll keep that one. Steel warhammer, though, that can go. So that's being broken down. Iron hatchet, we don't need anymore because we just got this pickaxe. We got super lucky with that iron sickle. We don't need anymore because we got a steel one. Amazing. Hardened steel hatchet. I'm going to just keep that as a reserve pickaxe. We've got two of them. So I guess we could keep that for now as well. Become such a hoarder, man. I can't help myself. The falchetta, we're not going to use that any. Well, we could use that for another one of our people. Let's keep it. Okay, if we get the warp... Well, we'll have better weapons by then. Anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter. Just rambling on. Advanced tool upgrade kit. Okay. I'm not sure right now what we use that in. I've got a rough idea, but... Uh, we've got some rhino hides. Uh, iron bowl. We don't need that. So we can break that down. Um, got some cushions. I think we'll just use those for decor. Uh, let's open up that supply bag. What did that give us? Heaviest first. Did that give us 500... I think it gave us a bunch of bones and a bunch of uh, twine. We also got some steel reinforcement. We got some really interesting loot uh, from that whole journey. More steel bars, a demonic head that we killed, the elixir of freedom. There's so, so many uh, cool things going on here. All right. Uh, we got some more heavy hides, I think. 
not many unfortunately yeah we got some rhino hides so let's get those broken down with our tanner here working the 1.25 speed okay so that's thick six more it's a little bit we need like 40 for one piece of padding and then presumably some more for the actual item itself so got a long way to go i know a place where we can go and get some but that's that's further off ahead of us yet um okay boom we put that in there get that processing that makes thick leathers and some more tar all right wonderful okay so what else have we got here um oh a large defari wind chime okay that sounds uh groovy but let's empty our pockets first so we get some uh bones put away here and some twine that should allow us to move cleanly yes okay so let's see oh look at that with a bunch of skeletons and whatnot neat that one actually makes noises but it doesn't move like the one that i've got from the battle pass um okay we got some more uh <laughs> we got some more cool things for people to wear we got this tome of karak so that's our spell book and we got this uh, arcane staff that we cast with and then we've got these pouches and things for it as components you can see we've got this leather pouch earlier so here we've got a burlap pouch here we've got a leather pouch and the and then we, here we've got a cloth pouch so i think that's the three levels but i could be wrong burlap pouch cloth pouch leather pouch there you go kind of looks like that would be three levels i'm not sure if it's just three levels but anyway um yeah we got that demonic shell back oh ostrich egg right we got our um actually let's put those down as decor we got seven gold bars that's awesome we got a bunch of gold dust as well um we got more gold coin i'm gonna put those indoors we got silver dust yellow lotus powder okay weapon repair kits we got so many cool things gang all right, let's put these in our treasure chest with uh, with Jeff, and we'll see what counts. That can't go in there. Okay, interesting. Gold bars, decorative iron bar. That's interesting. Oh, silver bars as well. Goodness me, we got all sorts. Okay, what's the what's the tally? Six fifty-two. Six hundred and fifty-two. Look at that. The dust all counts as well. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? Wow, the gold bars are worth loads. As you might expect. Okay, that's awesome. All right, in the alchemist bench now, we've got these. Yeah, look, these are, here's how you create the pouches with the different ingredients needed for them. Twine, putrid meat and bone. And here the cloth pouch is leather, demon blood. Ah, oh, I remember we got demon blood look at that it's gonna come in handy gold dust and bone meal so they're quite expensive and then thick leather sacrificial blood and a flask oh we're gonna get into that an alchemical base oh and there you go the weathered skulls i knew i needed them for something wonderful okay so we're making great progress here colored candle blue what wait really Is that blue? That look very blue to me. Maybe we see it more at night. <laughs> Alright, um, okay. Oh, there's more treasure because we have the necklace. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, let's put some manuals out here. Start decorating the place up a little bit. I can't believe we still got a bedroll and not an actual bed. That's silly, isn't it? Get some cushions here for when Zara needs to have a rest. <laughs> um, okay, purple lotus flower. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you want to have... Zara, would you like to wear this mask when you're dancing? Oh my goodness, that is... Uh, that's a thing. Okay, I'm going to put these lotus flowers in here and then need these things that are a bit weird like lotus powder and... Okay, decorative iron bar. Okay, we can put this... It can be your, your lucky... Lucky iron bar. Over here. 
Oop, that's cool. That looks neat. Um, okay, egg. Hmm. Don't know, but we'll see. Is that, yeah, it does go in there. What is an ostrich going to eat? My, my money's kind of on plant fiber. Look at that, plus 40. Uh, let's see. No, not plant fiber. Oh, what is the ostrich going to want to eat then? Huh, not a lasting feast. Oh, maybe some raw meat? Not exquisite meat. Interesting. Ostrich. Hmm. We can try shredded roast, but we don't have any uh, uncooked. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Shredded roast? No. Grilled meat? Not enough space. Okay. No. Okay. Okay, that's not a thing. Okay, well, I might have to look it up. Or we can experiment a little bit afterwards. It doesn't eat seeds. Could be aloe or something. Or it could be a desert plant, maybe. Okay, that's not going to help. Hmm. I don't know. That's, that's curious, isn't it? Oh, we've got our carpenter now as well. So let's get our carpenter out. Which is not a euphemism. Uh, here we go. All right, you're a level three carpenter. That's awesome. Let's have a look at the carpentry table. That gives us uh, light attack, heavy attack damage. Oh, similar to the... Uh, okay, for crafting bows and that then. But she also needs that knows these recipes. She can split wood into branches if we need them. And she can turn branches back into usable pieces of wood. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right, not bad. I guess she's going to give us a... I uh, don't know if she's going to give us a crafting speed bonus. That's what I was kind of hoping for on a carpenter. I was hoping she'd speed stuff up. She also works at the... Uh, Oh, you see, we learned those uh, other recipes earlier for furniture, for the decrepit furniture. So we've got some more cool things we can put down as well. That's awesome. So here we've got crafting speed. Oh, this is from the smelter. One and a half speed buff. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. What about on the drying rack? Does that give a buff? Oh, no buffs. No buenos. All right. We've got loads of that dried wood and resin that we want to turn into insulated wood because we're going to upgrade our hut. So let's go. Boom. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to give us a speed buff on there or not. Doesn't look like it. But that does feel like it's running better. So maybe it is and it's not listed. Don't know. Let me know in the comments if you do know. Wonderful. All right. Well, that is... Uh, oh, wait. There's one more thing. That is mostly sorcery, but now we've unlocked the sorcery category. We can create the thermaturgy bench, which is why we're going to need a bunch of crystals. 50 crystals, 50 iron bars, and 300 stone. Mm. I don't think we have 50 crystals knocking about. I think we have a some total of eight. <laughs> All right. So next time out, we're going to have to go and get ourselves some crystal. So that was the places we marked on the map earlier. And there's a lovely little cave here full of uh, little snorsages that we're going to go and bash about. Yeah, let's go and uh, we're going to go and mess them up. That's going to be good fun. All right, that is going to do it for episode two. Hopefully you'll have enjoyed the content. You'll give us a thumbs up. Uh, on the video you'll subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i hope i've done enough to convince you uh, if you want to support me and help me encourage me to make uh, episode three and lots of other nonsense that'll be awesome until the next time good vibes be with you